Welcome. Hey, yo. We're on the internet. Hey, everybody. Uh, Thanks for being here tonight. Real quick, uh, we're the Mates of Fate, obviously. Welcome to Songs of Creation. We love playing this game. If you think we're funny, follow us on Instagram at Mates of Fate. You can check, in, uh, check us out on Twitter for announcements. Same thing, at Mates of Fate. If you think our story's interesting, and it totally is, you can check out our previous episodes on YouTube. We don't have a fancy handle, but you can just search for Mates of Fate on YouTube and get our old episodes of Songs of Creation or Artema or our fun one shots that we're starting to do sometimes. And before I go to you, Mike, there is a very cool um, comic artist on, I know them on Instagram. They're probably on other things too, but at Dungeon Delves. This artist is hilarious. Their comics are so funny. I've reposted their stuff a bunch of times on our Instagram all year. And I believe for the next week, they're doing different charity streams. So they have a Twitch and they're also like, I think today they played Beat Saber, but it's all to raise money for uh, one of their local charities. So check out at Dungeon Delves. Very cool. Very funny. Um, cool. Your turn, Mike. All right. Hello. Greetings, people of the internet. Um, assuming, you know, you're here, you like the internet um and you probably like dungeons and dragons too what and i'm going to take a guess that most of you probably like music and and hearing things mm. check out sirenscape we use sirenscape for our streams um provides awesome 
uh, ambiance, sound effects, and music for our sessions, and you can use it for yours too. Uh, just go to sirenscape.com. It is dope. Um, what's the other one? Ah, uh, yes, the dice giveaway. I meant to ask you, Ash, to... I forgot to ask you to save a picture of the dice that Ursus provided. Yeah. Not a big deal. Check out one. There you go. Check out Ursus Dice. Thank you. Um, both on Instagram <laughs> and Twitter. Um, she makes beautiful dice. And we'll be doing a dice giveaway of a Mates of Fate themed dice, kind of this Hellfire Red um, Ocean Blue. They're um, we'll be giving away. They are. Like we'll be giving away a set of, of those. Amazing. Yeah. Alicia just got hers for uh, Christmas, which, yeah, it, it's really nice. Jess, thank you. You're amazing. They You're look amazing. Like a, they look like the little Japanese tsunami, like the, the Great Wave thing. Sure, it I'll looks like that. that with stars. And sure, I'll, I'll really. do this. Enjoy. There you go. Wow, look at that. Uh, nice. wow. That's working. That's nice. Yeah, that actually yeah. kind of works. Look how oh, beautiful man. that is. It looks sick. That's like it looks if, so cool. I if, want them now. If the fires Gorgeous. of hell met the met the oceans of the the siren, I mean, oh my god. It's, Are yeah. we eligible for this giveaway? Because I want them. <laughs> <laughs> Can we win our own product placement? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Let's I'm see. just gonna create like 40 duplicate accounts. So it's either like Matt four seven nine eight three one two or yeah. Mike four nine one two three or yeah. Yeah. It's a, one of the handles would be like Mike with a fake nose. <laughs> <Just a muscle. laughs> yeah. yeah yeah anyhow yeah check her out um dice are awesome you can check out our instagram as well where we posted that picture that um isabel here just showed um we'll be doing the giveaway some point in mid-january obviously everybody's very busy with the holidays and we want to give just you know there's the the room to to make the dice as good as she can um so we will update once we have more information but it will likely be a giveaway you know at our you know following our um inner intermission um based on people who participate in chat that short that sort of thing um if you're here tonight you're basically a shoe in we'll let you know yeah 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 for sure um as for tonight you know just yeah give us a follow here if you aren't already um to get you know updates on when we're streaming uh we don't have a specific schedule because we're all busy <laughs> adults with lame lives um Ooh. and you can also follow us on instagram and twitter where we also post about stuff all right okay cool all right, Matt. All right. Yeah. Fearless leader. So, Merry Christmas to everybody and, you know, happy holidays, et cetera, et cetera. And oh, joyous so Kwanzaa. That's today. Exactly. Oh, yeah. yeah. Um, on top of that, also, inspiration all around. Yay. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, and then we're going to take a long rest and it'll disappear. It's been 86 <laughs> years. Well, you can always use that inspiration for oh, one thing you want to use it for, right? No, inspiration doesn't go away with a long rest, right? right? I don't actually know. I don't know I what think... the rules are in inspiration because we I've have never it taken seven it away or eight with a long years rest. ago. I think it's just a... you keep it until you want to use it. Yeah, so yeah like... make the rules. I think yeah. it's also supposed to be advantage on something you pre-declare, but our house rule is like a free reroll because it's more fun yeah. that way. Yeah, it's like, <laughs> yeah. Because it's always, oh no, can I use inspiration? Not 20, motherfucker! Take that, DM! Stop! Oh, is that why you don't get it anymore? It's always that. Um, except the way Mike does it, which is fantastic, which is we can give each other inspiration, but it gives him inspiration too. So, uh, no, the way Mike yeah. does it is I give you guys inspiration. You don't give me jack shit. Yeah. <laughs> so. Anyway. When last... We left our adventures. Um, I was going to cast like 700 spells. Yeah. Yes. Y'all have met with uh, some people in town and did yeah. some very important business. We bought a cow. Um, <laughs> you bought a cow. Cow trading simulator. <laughs> you bought a cow, um, which arrived and is, you know, out to pasture, you know, getting comfy in the closest thing you can find to a stables anyways. Um, you also... Uh, made arrangements with the harbor master to split your shipment of wine to diversify your risks and all that, et cetera, et cetera. Let's not get into that again, because God, it was dry. Uh, <laughs> um, so you then uh, came back from where you... operation supply chain management? Yeah. Well, like... <laughs> Even Stales just got supply chain issues, oh, except there's are monsters in the yeah. ocean related. Yes. Yeah. yeah, that'll do it. Um, you also... Uh, yeah, you guys also went back home and had a meal could not be beat, um, which one of you ended up walking away from, uh, drawn off by 
a figure that only she could see. Zara, you saw a priestess of Glacea who spoke with you um, at length. Kind of a terse, tense conversation, suggesting that you very carefully remember where your allegiance lies. Oh no, the, the consequences of my own actions. Oh no. <laughs> They're myself. catching up! <laughs> Not that you're doing anything wrong, per se, but sort of checking in and making sure that, you know, keeping you in check. Um, so, with that, you return back to the, uh, you know, to the dining room where everyone is there and uh, drinking a bit of wine. We'll say that uh, Kogur is, you know, maybe uh, singing a ballad or a song or something, much to the, you know, to the, you know, annoyance of uh, Valenquips, who's just... Uh, every time, he does this every time. Can't stop him. It just oh, and it Drax is just you know what are you doing? Uh, I'm probably brooding with spine crusher mm-hmm. about the long journey ahead, <laughs> plotting our next character yeah. arc, mm-hmm. drinking way more wine than I should be. I feel like I'm ready to get off this island. Been here for like two days. I get a little stir crazy. We have places to be. This is not our home. We cannot afford to rest on our laurels now. Oh, shame because I just made a bit of pie. It's quite good. And oh, to yeah, be clear, you're coming with us, correct? I mean, oh, there is room on our ship for many, but oh, no, mostly no, just no. you. Believe you me, my traveling days are long behind me. Okay, so you, you don't work for us. Okay, I see, I see. It's I've, fine. I've, my grandchildren are here on the island. I wouldn't want Can to they leave fight? them. They're, uh, they fight each other all the time. They're uh, two and six. Uh, so big enough to hold an axe. Okay. Uh, oh, no, she could hardly... She, she's not very good with an axe, but... Yet. This, like, uh, Balancrip says, um... Lady uh, uh, of Stormhammers, um, okay. uh, Trax, uh, Please. Uh, I mean, I'm sure we can make sure that you have enough provisions for whatever trip you're planning. Also, if you want, I mean, if this, was there anything that you wanted me to prioritize as far as recruiting other adventurers to take care of? That is a good question. We were going to maybe contract out to make sure, uh, what was it, that cavern or that mine? There's a mine on the south southern uh, tip of the island. Uh, we can work towards fi- getting that cleared out and fixed. Um, once we get that Probably up and back in operations. Like an hour, right? Uh, I mean, it could probably be fixed. You, I'm sure you could probably, but it would, you can, we can, you know, contract that out to someone. Should be no problem. If we can let some young uh, adventurers cut their teeth on it, if they prove their worth. And we can recruit There's, into the cause later. There are plenty of people in town, uh, especially with the mm-hmm. city back. There's all we could always recruit. In fact, honestly, the the Iron Vault, you know, is, the Iron Vaults are a great place to find people. Perfect. So, um, make sure you pay them well. Okay. So I'll set up a contract for the mine, and we'll, you know, put the word out. Thank you, Valen okay. Quips. Right, not a problem. Well, Flora, that was a meal that could not be beat. Oh, you're too kind. I think I'm going to go ahead and uh, you know, just tidy up, make sure everything's okay. Should we uh, retire? Up to Zara and Spine Grudger. Yep. We'll call it for the evening. Oh, Valen, did, did you set up those bunk beds? Bunk beds? The bunk oh. beds for me and Spine Grudger. Elaine? At this, like the bard. Um, oh, uh, 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 yes, it was. Uh, you wanted the, the bunk beds, which is a little bit un. It's not exactly customary, but uh, yeah, they're they're there. As quick cool. as I could whip something up. Awesome, thank you. Of course. Now we have room to spar. Wait a minute, it bed. was for the two of you. Yes. Uh For whom did you think? No, I thought maybe it would be like one of the lighter people. It's not no problem. 
Like it is nothing, nothing, nothing. Um, what, which one of you? What lighter like, people are you talking about? And Spine Crusher just like looks around. He looks, you know, kind of like, uh, like his eyes like momentarily glance towards Reggie and Zara. Like, uh, I thought at least one of the lighter persons would be. You For know what? Top, yeah. Yeah, I just uh, don't. Uh, you know, don't. Uh, we just wanted the room to spar. Now we have space, so you have our things. I'm sure it's perfect. <laughs> You will definitely come out with some bruises, I'm sure. Oh, One good. of you. Wonderful. Shall we? Yep. Bunk bed room. He Make sips his wine and uh, investigate right. the new bunk beds. Indeed, there are what look to be bunk beds. However, um, it looks to be. Well, make you know what? Make a craftsmanship. Make, make a invest. <laughs> yeah. What would that be? Craftsmanship, like, would be uh, reception or investigation? Investigation check. Eight. Not the bed. Eight. The best goddamn bunk beds you've ever seen. Look I at that. It. There's These nice, like, so fancy much room spindles. for combat now. All right. All right. Now we just have to put up curtains on the bottom bunk so we can scry in secret. Or I could just lock the door. I'll yeah. call top bunk. It's not, it's not as You absolutely like will it. not. I will. I love that I get uh, you, you're not road. getting in the top bunk if I'm sitting in the bottom bunk. I'm sorry. Slumber party night with you guys every single time. I swear. Yes. Too late. No, I'm not getting underneath. <laughs> <laughs> I was uh, already not that spine crusher's up there. Constitution check. Oh God. Me? Yes. Spine crusher? Yes. Spine crusher or the bunk beds? Yeah. Fifteen. Okay. It holds. Oh. Great. I don't trust This is a very head. comfortable bed. Okay. How's the view from the top bunk? I'm coming up. Oh, I God. Jump up okay. There Constitution check. Disadvantage. If you're both up there now. Yes. I yeah. <laughs> love it. That would be a 13. What? <laughs> you're so funny. You it? both fall. Um... No damage because you're on a bed. And thank God no one was underneath. Spine Crusher, um, what did you do? I don't think it was <laughs> me, per se. You need to lose weight. This, this is, is a pure... travesty. You broke our bunk beds. This is pure muscle. I don't need to lose weight. Panicked footsteps like eight, eight coming up the stairs. <laughs> as you soon enough see uh, Valakrips and Winnie. Before what on earth is going on in here? Spine Crusher broke the bunk beds. It was what a joint effort. Those were new. The joint effort. No, I'm so I'm so embarrassed on his behalf. Um, so. No insult to your craftsmanship, but this is why I, I don't want to sleep on the bottom bunk. <laughs> well, my craftsmanship, that was called, but I told him he made the spindles a little too thin. But they don't need to have fancy scroll work and, you know, all that. It's just oh, been sturdy. Those did look no. nice. Well, uh, now they're both the bottom bunk, so... Yeah. Right. I don't want to yeah, crush right. anyone like a like a space goblin or anything. Give me a moment. I, let me tidy this up. And she uh, begins. It looks like she just out of nowhere puts her fingertips together, and pulls what looks like from the thin air. It looks like she pulls this gossamer, golden, glowing thread out of nothing and makes almost sort of like a cat's cradle uh, with it. Oh. And then walks up, you know, with a flick of the wrist, the bed starts to raise as she. Begins winding the glowing, you know, almost ethereal cat's cradle around the legs of the posts. The way it, you do it is so I, much cooler than yeah. the way I can do it. <laughs> Casting mending effectively, but the the bed itself soon enough is back into place. Thank you. Uh, now, again, he made this on short notice, so I'd probably let him, you know, let one of the lighter ones lay on the top. I'm but, sure we'll be fine. Or only one of you, maybe. What are you implying? That two people is too many. For the I think she's implying that Floor is a good cook. That's all. I don't get yeah. it, but okay. Most definitely. Thank you, Valen Glips. Floor is an excellent cook. Uh, no, name's Winnie. It's all right, dear. Yeah. And she, so, uh, sorry. you know, pleats her apron and, you know, walks out of the room. <laughs> they all know magic. This is why they make more money than we do. <laughs> What you know is uh, Winnie is the one that does a lot of the magic around the, you know, around the manor. Good thing, too. So. Okay, how many times can we do this? Because I, I got a lot of oh. questions about a lot of people. 
Oh, oh, that a lot. Um, I can, I can talk to people like, like ten times, and I can, and I can spy on people like five times. Okay. Holy shit. Okay. Four times. You even know five people, God. No. Right. How many goddamn NPCs <laughs> are sure in this game? Do. We know five yeah. people. Yeah, you know five people. <laughs> All right. Okay. Who's our top priority list? Are we doing any council members or doing family members? I want to know if my sister's okay, because last time I saw her, she came to us like, I don't um, know why this word is coming past. to Yeah, it was like, the word Terminator comes to mind, although that's not a thing yeah. I've ever heard of. But she had like metal limbs and stuff, and I think she's part Thondillion now, so that's cool. But I don't want to talk to her because she's always really mean. All right, but um, I... let's grind her. What you got? You got anything she used to own? Yeah, I think I do actually. Hang on, look at me. Specifically, Hat. like a body part, lock of hair, bit of nail, or the like. Yes. <laughs> if not, a possession or garment will work. Tell me about that. Yeah, those things attracts her. That's disgusting. <laughs> what are those weird parents who like just keeps all their kids' fingernails in, or something? Or in, like, like oh, the freezer. Oh god. Yeah. <laughs> I. Go into my pack and I pull out a very old looking child's dagger. All right, obviously, <laughs> in my tribe, children have daggers. It's and I say I have first hand knowledge, however, but I do not know her well. I that mean, you've traveled accurate. on a ship with her, she threw you in the brig once. Oh, that is true. So, would uh. you say I, I, I know the target well? Anyone who throws you in the brig of a ship, you know well from that right. point forward, Excellent. yes. Um. So she has a minus nine to the save. Okay. And what Did kind of save is it? 17 wisdom. Give I me that lore. Know. Give it to me. 10 minus nine. So that comes out to one. So yeah. Yeah, I think I right. spy on that. Okay. that boy. Uh, all right. So how to put this. So you are there in the room and everything. And you start scrying from your point of view, there Because you're the only one who can see this, right? Yeah. I'm just giving them, like, the crappy, like, announcer play-by-play. -play. <clears throat> okay. It's, you close your eyes, and as you do, it's black. And immediately, you see this, um, the first thing you see, you hear this, uh, heavy thud. And this immediate, <sighs> like, billowing cloud of embers dancing up really okay. quickly. Um, and the sound of someone <clears throat> sitting back against a tree by beside what you can now see is a fire campfire um illuminating a number of figures notably you see avra she's there um you know having just dropped she's the one sitting down as you see that she just dropped a log on this fire that is starting to roar a bit there's kind of a oh more weathered look about her than when you last, not when you most recently saw her from the future, that's much more weathered, but this is compared to what you saw her in this time before she looks tired, maybe more just like not gaunt, but maybe sinewy in a way that's sort of hardened on the trails in the wilderness, so she has a look about her that she hasn't maybe slept in a bed or in under, you know, she's been out of doors for months by the look of her. Um, I think we attack the West. Ah, I think that the Western side is probably covered with scouts. Just the same. That's why I think we should go move that way. Find them. Get them. Scouts, take them out. Leave them blind. One of the others speaks up from the other side of the fire. Uh, woman's voice. We don't have a lot of options. Try the eastern side. It's safer. You have to remember, we cannot try to strike the best advantage in every single move we make. We have to plan this carefully. And I think, I think you've been a little too careful, don't you? 
There is a reason why I reached the title of Sharp Tunnel, Abra. You really think that this would make a difference? I do. If we can hold them off long enough, it'll cut off Gog from the others. Yes. That still leaves the first legion on our trail. Well, that's the end game, isn't it? If we take out the scouts from the Fergandali or cut off from the rest of the, you know, from the ground shakers groups, and then once there's that severance there, we can strike freely as the first legion. I don't like it. I don't either. Says another voice you don't recognize. What choice do you have? It's always a choice. Pass me that rat. And then, you know, you see uh, one of them pulls a uh, dick off from the fire and then passes this to smoke kind of fills up and then you're back in the room. Did you just call a steak a rat? A stick. Or, 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 or yeah, stick. Rat steak. Oh, rat steak. steak. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. No. Oh no. They're, finally, they're... F- finally marbled. <laughs> yeah. <Ugh>. Marbled rat. <laughs> mm-hmm. Everything's better on a stick, guys. Come on. Yeah. And Sarah shared all that with us. Yes. Yeah. I don't know half the things I'm saying, but <clears throat> speaking of the sharp tongue, it means she's sided with the Thunderlians. Proud of her. And make cared for her. Uh, make make an intelligence check, Draxa, or go. history check, whichever one would be. They're both real bad. There we go. Ten. Hmm. All right. Yeah. Um. The only thing I would would say is that based on what she said, it sounded like there might be some division among the Thontillians too. Is isn't Gog Magog? Would I know that Gog Magog uh, was the head? Yeah, so Gog Magrog is the High War Chief of the Thuntillians. Yeah. And Geralt Lanavala is the Sharp Tongue. It uh, sounds the, like the head and the Sharp Tongue split. Yeah, but it sounds like there's just three people sitting around a campfire, so you're not sure how many, if any, real sizable faction oh my. accompany the Sharp Tongue with a split. So. Did you have all our limbs? What was like the general like topography? Like, did it look? Did I feel like they were in a forest, a desert? It lo- yeah, it looked to be forest. Foresty. So, unfortunately, though, forested yeah. area, hard to tell. What they all, what low the main... altitude or high altitude? The it was cover, like, deep enough. Good God, <laughs> nighttime forest, deep enough in the woods that you can't be sure of the elevation. Um, by a campfire, so you can't really say if it's high enough to be cold. You know, or it's just, it's nighttime. Might be trying to keep animals away. Um, The things you heard were that they were talking about attacking from the west or from the east. Yeah. And then heading north to attack. Right, so it's... A location accessible by all of those angles. South of something and then trying to decide which way. But scouts on the uh, west and then, so trying to play carefully on the east. Or, Let me pull you know. up my map. Yeah, your fancy uh, map of the whole whole damn world. Um, yeah, yeah. I'm using all the resources you've given me. Yay. Solve your puzzles. Happy. Does it sound like they're in Fergandal? Hard to say. What you know is that they're, it sounds like what they, what they she said she wanted to do is cut off Gog Madrog from the Fergandali. War is going very differently than it did last time. Very differently. Okay. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> I well, my sister's probably going to single-handedly win this war, so that's something. Why do you say that? She's a lot smarter than I am. She always does the right thing, even when she's being a dick about it.
I was always good at following orders, but never for making plans. Not just brains that win war. Ah, true. Ah. Sarah, what about Vernon? I was literally just thinking about that. Yeah. <laughs> I so mean, again, the problem with scrying is we have to be on the same plane. How confident are we we're still on the same plane as him? You spoke to him last time, right? You spoke yeah, to him. I can speak to people on different planes. I can only spy on people on the same plane. What if you speak to him and you say... What are we going to say? I don't think he was super Just enthusiastic the last say, time I say, we're spoke calling about your casual parrot's extended warranty and we would like to pay you a last visit to check in. And we got its like great 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 grandson over here. Right. I don't know. Just I want to I want to surprise Yellow Rain and like bring her to see him. If he's on the way, like there's no reason not to. Did I mention Yellow Rain? Seemed like last time you did, he was struggling to remember her, you know? What the fuck was that dice roll? I heard that. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like, not to extend the scene, but I feel like I have to, we have to very carefully craft the 25 words I'm going to say to him or else he's going to be like, uh, I, don't, I don't know who you are, bye. Alright, so should we scry and just see if he's in a good place first? If you don't want to scry on more than two other people tonight, then yes. All right. There's also or if you think God. our benevolent DM is not so mostly harmless, and I should be saving spell slots. <sighs> I get a think, we're getting because this better where, to this, right? This is where yeah, this is where last last session's you know thing was going to end. So I think yeah, but you're I, in a I safe place like that. Uh, uh -huh. you're, you're in a safe place. Would I, I don't say like that? On. That makes can it do it worse. Would I lie? Yeah, can I, <laughs> well, can I do an insight <laughs> check on my DM, please? <laughs> well, I rolled an eight, so on yeah, a deception check. <laughs> okay, I, got, I got a plus nine to insight, so you have to tell me the truth. Okay, the truth is I don't have a, a battle in. I don't have a battle plan for the right. villa. Great. So. Fucking meta asshole, <laughs> god damn it. All right. <laughs> cool, D, cool. I'm just becoming an NPC. <laughs> all, right. Yeah. All, right. all right, I'm going to try to scry on Vernon. I didn't don't have one planned, but I guess I will now. Yeah, shit. Get this shit going. All right. <laughs> don't break my. Just because we Not break the, the You can't break no the fourth fun. wall. We break the fourth wall. Yeah. Keep my immersion in tune. <laughs> Right. Um, same deal. <clears throat> I know the target well, and I we probably have at least one possession of Vernon's by this point, right? Uh huh. Probably sure. Do. Yeah. Even if it's like a fork. Or the some fuck shit. is it doing in Fizzbin's Treasury of Dragons? <laughs> Don't worry about this. Don't worry about it. <laughs> Why are you happening? worried about that? It's rolling. Okay. Yeah. All right. So wisdom save of seventeen minus nine. Unless he's on a different plane, then he just then I just fail. Now he is. Two, minus nine, so negative four. Negative seven. Yeah. <laughs> Give us the lore, make it negative up on the spot. Out. Like you're seeing through his eyes practically at this point. Good God. Um, Bands failed by 24. It's just in the bathroom. Okay. This is the most awkward scry ever. Over scry. Okay, no, quite literally taking a piss. Um, uh, <laughs> you catch him. That's what we uh, get. That's what we get. Okay. No. That you just, um, you just I, I just, my eyes glaze over and I go, ah. <laughs> Stumble, you don't see any details, but just you see him from, you know, behind for a moment, sort of like over the view. shoulder camera, right? For a moment. Yeah. What you see is it's nighttime. Um, looks to We're be. We're in the same hemisphere. Seem, looks to be uh, moonlit. This sort of, uh, it almost looks like the, the back deck of a, of a, tavern or bar or something for a brief moment you look and you can see a canopy of trees and seaside uh, the moon glittering off of it he's quite literally peeing off the side of this wrap this balcony <laughs> this wooden balcony um, onto the onto the you know the dirt below where it just patters um there's this sort of you just body ruckus of conversation from the tavern inside and you know you see this man and he just as you always had seen him uh, before 
you know, pale uh, white hair, pale glowing almost white eyes, um, horns filed down since you'd seen them. If not, you know, gone altogether, maybe a loser ear, maybe not. But a bit more clean cut than the last time you'd seen him. Um, some stubble, not completely clean shaven, but he's just the same. Carrying, looks a bit stumbly, off balance as he kind of like turns and everything, and tries to walk in. This you know ruckus of music and everything coming from the tavern starts to die down um, a bit. The door swings open. Um, you see, it looks to be seafaring folk. Um, drinking. Uh, there's a fairly well endowed woman uh, who is uh, just like leaning over a table, trying her best to get what tips she can from the men that she's slinging whiskey to. Uh, one of them, you know, tries to flick a copper and then she slaps him. Uh, <laughs> the other friend apologizes and offers a gold. Um, Any you, you accents know. I can pick up on? Uh, the voices, the words that you hear. I tell you again, you try to the guy that says six, no, three dragon out to you. It's three dragons. I shut your face. You tell you what, you try to cheat one more time, and I'm gonna cut your goddamn fingers off and wear them around my neck. What are you gonna do wearing fingers around your neck? I'm gonna let everyone know they're not gonna fucking cheat, Bill. (laughs) And you know, such and such goes on. (laughs) <laughs> and it goes on and on fantasy Essex <laughs> yeah, pretty much um oh yeah, you know you think I think he's got a bit more shit he's going through uh I think maybe me and the boys would get a skiff we head out there out by the rocks I ain't going to see this coming one of you climb up the top they come by the pass you push your rocks off and then, and then what happens rocks put a hole right through the ship ship you just get out the mind. It ain't got nothing to do. Oi. Watch your step. As Vernon says, oh, sorry. Stumbles past. And Vernon kind of goes and sits down at what looks to be uh, a harpist chord or piano. He begins to play. It is a harpist chord, but it ends up being this, at first, this shaky. <clears throat> Uh, melody that he kind of like first hits the he's in the wrong key. And <clears throat> a bottle gets thrown t- towards the stage. He ducks for just a moment. Zoom and enhance or recognize the bottle. <laughs> um, the broken bottle it looked to be green. Uh, <laughs> to, yeah. Write that down. Write that down. <laughs> yeah. Um, green. He uh, he starts playing and the melody. It's just this. Think from you know, rawhide. Almost... <laughs> it's it's a uh, it's sort of kind of melody that like almost uh, changes the tone of the tavern for a moment from you know this sort of mindless jovial thing to you know maybe a few of the sailors kind of like stop for a second and they're. They suddenly look a little long in the drink, one of them. Who you know? I never told Livian how much it made to me. Years ago, since I went back. I, I don't worry about that, Samuel. You're a good man. It's probably been true. Probably. I should go back to Brad and, you know, continues playing the song. Then one of the 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 same well endowed woman says, Oi! Not paying you to bring all the customers down. <laughs> Sorry. She kind of says, That's better as he starts playing this more lively upbeat. Yeah. Um, it has a sort of miserable look about him and everything. Um, make a perception check for me. I'm good at those. You have inspiration. Don't, don't mess this up, dice. Nice, 24. Nice. Okay. The With exact amount he failed 24. my check by. With a 24, um, you note as one of the 
one of the drunken uh, bar patrons tries to, you know, give a, you know, unfortunate kind of like uh, his hands go a little carelessly towards the barmaid. She immediately grabs one of the pints and slugs nice. him with it. Nice. Um, Spike Fisher didn't even see it. He loves it. Yeah. I just go nice, with, and you just got just go nice. nice. With with that, one of the uh, one of the other guys, one of the other uh, guys. What are you thinking, mate? You see the sign on the on the door? This is Wampin' Jenny. Went to tell his place. You don't fucking do that. <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> Um, oh, and yeah, I have a picture if you'd like to see her. What? Yes, please. I was about to ask around if any of the bars on the island had a harpsichord. This is way easier, man. Just gotta ask I hope. Yeah, there you I go. Hope, I hope she's jacked. <laughs> she ain't putting up with no one's shit, is what it is. Yeah. She shouldn't. <laughs> so, yeah. I mean, wow. She's magnificent. Um, Look at her so, feet. Look at her feet. Yeah. As you look. You then realize, yeah, she is a halfling, so. Um, Let's fucking go. So yeah, at He's that, be- Vernon kind of like gives like a, a smug look and everything. Kind of, you know, mutters under his breath. He says, you're right. And just continues playing. Uh, yeah. The, he gives one last thing. I want a chair for our lady. And then the whole bar, ah! <laughs> And then she raises up the pint glass, kind of like victoriously, like that's sort of what you're not entertained. Classic and, you know, Wampin' Jenny Winter Joe. Vernon smiles, and then with the melody fading, so does your vision. Hold up, what a... I mean, how many... I just gotta... Oh my god, okay, what if... Okay, this, this would be funny, this would be funny, hear me out. What if I cast the legend lore on that place? I think <laughs> name or describe you, a person, place, or object. Do you have to? Okay. Do you have to? <laughs> I want the deep lore of this location. Here's Not the even thing, the location it's... that can help us. I want the deep lore on the Winter Toe family history. <laughs> Sorry. No worries. All right. Um, yeah. So you want to cast legend lore on <laughs> Wampin' Jenny Wintertoes' place. Okay. Yeah, I I think it would be funny. Oh, we're doing it. We're actually doing it. Okay. It's already funny. <laughs> well, I know. I, okay, okay. I mean... No, no, you, can, you absolutely can. You absolutely can. This is... Okay, wait, wait. Before I do it, I, I do want to do it. But I only have two more spell slots, fifth level or higher. And this right. would use one of them in case we want to scry on more than one other person. We're sleeping after this, right? Yeah. Not yeah, to meta. But we don't always get a lot of chances. Try more that. in the morning. That's all right. Yeah. Okay, yeah, I mean, we well. still got we still got like five. Like uh, who's cries in the morning? Left. Nobody. All right. I will use I will use two hundred fifty dollars worth of incense just to be clear. Worth of every penny. But yeah, this place is gonna smell great, so it's totally. Oh man. <laughs> It's it's lavender, just, I am soothed. Like they just move in and like they just there's just like clouds of smoke going under the door. Like we're yeah. the worst tenants. Wine Crusher actually has like a an incense allergy. He's like his eyes. He's, he's, <laughs> can we? Could you guys? Oh god! Your, what? Uh, Why constitution, is so sa- <laughs> constitution save disadvantage. Oh god! Turn your inspiration on this. Oops. <laughs> Please. Yeah, yeah. Uh, disadvantage. So that would be a. Eight. Okay. Eight. Okay, I'll, I'll keep that in mind. Okay. <laughs> this action will have consequences. Mm-hmm. <laughs> All right, so give me the deep lore of this place. You definitely okay. Deep right? lore. Okay. Wap and Jenny Winter Toes. Specifically, what are you looking to know? More about the Winter Toes family. The more about the specific establishment. Okay, so um, Where the fuck our is options are current tales, forgotten stories, or even secret lore that has never been widely known. Current tales, forgotten lore, or... or um, was it? Secret lore that has never been widely known. So, okay, okay. So, 
the more information you have about the thing, the more precise and detailed the information okay. you receive is. All right. So the, the tourist guide pamphlet that you get walking into the door in the back yeah. of the kids' menu says that... <laughs> <laughs> um, the chicken fingers are excellent. Nestled in the somewhat hard to find, uh, more or less, pirate port city of Hardgrave in the Burning Isles, uh, by the rocky shore. Fuck whatever we're doing. There <laughs> lies Wampin Jenny Wintertoes' tavern and saloon, which is actually looking at it from the streets. You look and think there's something a bit odd about it, isn't there? This specific that's sort of precariously sitting there on stilts up there on the rock, that long, that big balcony outside, until you realize that's the hull of a derelict ship washed up there against those crags. Yeah, this place is um, awesome. So, yeah, it looks to be... She, the, 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 even you got, looking at it from the scrying and everything, you could see that the, the port city of Hardgrave is kind of there on a bunch of those tall pillars, sort of like you'd see around, like, Thailand, Right, um, those great big pillars of like limestone that just come yeah. shutting up out of the sea. Uh, it looks as though a massive tidal wave at one point has sent this ship careening, <laughs> sitting almost perched against on top one of the pillars, and then when the tides went washed away, it <laughs> cracked down, impaling the ship there atop. Ooh, ooh. Does this look like something that was caused recently, like? No, okay. it, it might be, it might be probably, you know, 20 years, 30 years ago that this happened. Uh, what you would surmise from this is that Winter Toes was the family name of one of the clerks aboard the ship, charged with keeping top of the, the <laughs> maps and the manifests and everything. And, well, landing where they did, they were kind of forced to make ends meet in a different way, which led to... The family being part of the family of the city of Hardgrave and the others that eventually flock there from the rest of the Burning Isles looking for what they could take from the, <laughs> the derelict ships that rock, wrecked against the coast there, finding themselves equally matched for wits. Um, Wampin Jenny Wintertoes, no more than a wee lass at the time that the ship cracked, um, did more than defend her. Uh, her father shipwreck. No, uh, they set up shop <laughs> really quick. Cool. And said, "We can either do this the, you know, the fun way or the hard way. It's your choice." And the sign that bears those words still sits there, right above the outside of the door, as a warning to any who would try to venture in looking for a fight. <clears throat> yes, a, cool, a bunch of cool lore about your family that's definitely more relevant than this, but. Pirate Town. Pirate Town? The rest of the journey is going out the window. We don't we don't even need to use the rest of my spell slots. Pirate Town. <laughs> like, like, Alright, I guess we're going to sleep. No, come on! Let's keep this going to roll. Yeah, well, it's a trying episode. Why not? Because <laughs> the, the next campaign you run, you're gonna be like, no clerics. Yeah. <laughs> Look at, that was a rule. You, Isabel. <laughs> yeah. Like we're doing no a zero. Tieflings, no clerics. <laughs> no, just the only school of magic that doesn't exist is divination, you motherfucker. Uh <laughs> <laughs> all good, all good. Why else would you play? Oh no, the god of chaos. He's destroyed <laughs> divination magic. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Okay, so we gotta get back to the mainland. We gotta get my sky ship. We gotta become sky pirates, and we gotta go to the pirate town. Yes. We gotta find Vernon. Res yeah. Rescue or whatever. Okay. No. That was dope. Thank you. No, that was really dope, God. That could have been made up. Like I could have just told you that, and you guys would have bought it. It would have been so funny. <laughs> but that was too odd. Like, I, I feel like I'm not creative enough to come up it's with a, something that oddly specific. A lot for the back of a kid's menu, but, you know. <laughs> and try we to value fingers. educating the youth, man. I respect that. Yeah. Crayons so where you can color the ship and the rocks. And the, you know, <laughs> and, you know, a, a character of Jenny punching the, you know, the teeth out of a, you know, lecherous old pirate. She's also a helium so. tank for balloons. Yeah. <laughs> 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 okay. I always forget this kid's name. But what about Driftstow's lover? That guy. <clears throat> uh, Devas Reliot. 
What about Davis Aurelia, who may or may not be currently being slayed to death for all eternity in a different plane? Um, I could call him again. Wait, is that the one who was out of character? Spinecrusher doesn't know him. Was he the one that was in the Nine Hells? Yes. When you tried to call him, didn't we get the sense that like he was responding at a different rate of time than we were? Because it was super slow? Something? It was to sound like a scream or... Yeah. I don't want to... I don't know. That, that might have been... No, that, I'm thinking of... Um, sorry, I'm thinking of... Different character tormented in a different hell. Sorry. Ua, Ua, Ua Ebe, Ebe was the one that was just like this sort of high static, like you unmuted the TV. Like, what the hell is wrong with this? Turning the TV up and then someone's like, oh, it's on mute. Like, yeah, that... And it blows out the thing. speakers. Uh, sorry for that, everyone who's watching on the stream. <laughs> I'm thinking because we're going on a journey, there are people we can help or, like, connections we need to make along the way than we should so we don't backtrack, you know? Okay, all right. All right, so we've marked out our two locations. Somewhere around Fergendal, this oddly specific um, pirate haven... Also, I mean, if the Pirate Haven's on the Burning Isles, and so is the Surviving Council, then we should probably make contact with Warren tonight. Yeah. I can call Warren. Should we? Maybe we do that next. I don't even know what to say to her. How are you? We're still alive, are you? Yeah. I've got five of these bad boys, let's have a conversation. Or, or, I, I can say to her, or... I can just scry on you in the next five-ish minutes, and you can just talk at me for ten minutes. Mm, we're coming to the um, pirate down. I could call her and be like, "You just you want to leave a ten-minute voicemail?" Like, probably doesn't have that much to say to us. She might. It's been two years. She knew us for a month. She's probably forgotten more most about us. Okay, but we did also. We are like it was, it was an eventful month. Yeah, yeah it wasn't eventful. We did shrooms together. It was great, you know. Yeah, you, you crashed at her place. <sighs> oh, Spine Crusher, you're going to love her. Also, oh, Sarah, yeah, you have not met her. Well, no. There's something weird about her house, too. Like, didn't it look yeah, it was like how some weird. similar to Blackstone? That was pretty weird, right? Yeah, that was a little sus. Was I don't know if I want to mention that on the call, though. No, don't mention that on the call. All right, all right. All right um, yeah, just say hi. So we're going to stop by the Burning Isles. Yep. To what's, catch up. What's, um, what's new? What do we need to know? Who is this person? Uh, council member. Who is wearing? The coolest. The coolest council member, probably. Council of Yigurishel. Yep. She speaks right. Orkish. That's cool. Yeah. Um, yeah, so I'm going to send Warren a message and basically be like, um, uh, we're trying to figure out where we're going next. We'll probably stop by the Burning Isles. Uh, if you're free in the next... 20. <laughs> 10 minutes. I'll scry. Updates? <laughs> hey! <laughs> Updates? Okay, sorry. With, the, with the inflection up. Updates? Updates? <laughs> <laughs> She can cry. She knows what I'm talking about. Okay. And she can cast sending. She's familiar yeah. with Beats? bad speech patterns and okay. limited words. She'll figure it out. Okay. You're here. Zara! Hi. Oh. Um. Shout it out on sure. Her That's fine. You can scry. Uh, we are. On twelve miles southeast, northern tip, Burning Isles. How many words is that? Shit! Twenty-one. <laughs> that was twenty-five. <laughs> you know, that's what I'm saying. Uh, yeah. I missed some. That's I what I'm saying. <laughs> oh um, wait, he is scrying concentration, and can I awkwardly message her while I'm scrying on her? That is what I want to know. I think scrying would absolutely be concentration. Yeah. Right? Okay. Is sending con sending is not concentration, so I can totally awkwardly message her during the middle of scrying. <laughs> hey, girl. Hey. Hey. I mean, she gave us a location. We know where to yeah. meet her. Yep. All right. Mm -hmm. Okay. 
Uh, so do you want to scry on Warren and awkwardly give her updates of approximately 100 words total over the span of 10 minutes? I think we should pay her a visit. She's on the way. Like, on the way to us? No, I mean, she's on the Burning Isles. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Alright. Um, I guess I'll message her. I can be like, is there pertinent let me, information? Let me ask, yeah. oh, there I was gonna oh, say, let me, let me ask before you start. Keep continue, keep on like burning spell slots. Spell slots. As far as the information you have and being economical, is there anyone else you want to get in touch with? Yes. Okay. No. That's all. Okay. What? The Red Scourge. Okay. Uh, so, okay, so you would rather me scry on the Red Scourge than Warren? All right. Should I message the Red Scourge first? Not until we see who she is allied with in this current century. All right. I would like to scry upon the Red Scourge for my last high-level spell slot. Right. <laughs> I have met the Red Scourge. I don't know There's if I'm Fizban. familiar with There's her. Fizban. Now Fizzband makes sense. I, I don't think we're besties. I've only met her, like, once. Yeah. Well, we have everything was going to shit, and the songs were being, like, destroyed. How can you know someone better than fighting alongside them in combat? There is no more intimate act in the world. Okay. Um... So, have I met the target, or do I know the target well? You fought alongside her. You've met the target. Right, and during um, that brief span when she flew past you, after when do she was we have of any of her possessions? Uh, the songs of creation. Oh, except for those. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> those. All right. Okay. So that is a uh, minus. We. They are not a body part. Are are they part of her essence? Or no. Or does she just protect them? Mm. That's a good question. Are they mad? Are they? I would say in the you same don't actually you don't have to they, tell me. I, would I say could just tell you the difference in the affecting role. No, I think yeah, it would be safe to say that given the fact that this is something that um Dina had attuned to over, you know, decades and of devotion and study and, you know, songs and everything. Yeah, like Actual singing, yeah, like the, sorry, they, they are part of her. They they're yeah. enough a part of her. It's almost the point of like it's not just like her life's meaning and purpose, but like that's her soul. Like she was on to the next life. It would still be a part of who she is. All right, yeah. so that is a seventeen wisdom check minus ten. Okay. If we were besties, it would have been minus fifteen. Uh, I just rolled a. F so that is an eighteen rolled minus 10 so minus 10 so that is a, an eight an eight is a fail okay unless she has some protection against scrying which she could or she's on another plane which is possible check. no i don't know the other plane but let me just check what page if she has on? true sight she'll know i'm scrying on her that's a good question she'll awkwardly see the bulb in like the corner and be like that's a little sus awkward um no, not true sight. They're good. Very good for us. I fucking love D and D. Good. Okay, you're good. For now. Okay. Um, you're scrying on the red scourge. So. Yeah, as one does. As one does. I'm living my life on the edge. Again, similar to the when you close your eyes and the room is dark. Um, what you see though is. Um, hard to describe, really, to the people around you. It's At first, it's this sudden wash of red, of yellowish golden white light everywhere amidst the dark. Um, darkness all around. You see what looks to be these casta cascading falls of lava flows, of heat, of this molten rock kind of cracking and crumbling and <laughs> hitting with these heavy, thunderous, smiting sounds against each other. Um, and then you see some of the lava flows are flowing upwards. 
like directly vertically up to the ceiling. Others kind of almost like a corona around the sun, kind of like sitting around this other figure. Um, you, your vision kind of like winds a circle around this strange pattern of the lava flows going up and down, and twisting around this central point. And it's at that point that you start to focus on it and you look and what you see is the singular small now as you look at it you look to see what is causing this sort of bending this distortion of the forces around it as some of the lava drips down and actually as it falls arcs around this central point as though seeing light bending around a singularity and what you see is the lava flows that you're seeing the water almost like waterfalls of lava are actually massive in scale maybe 100 yards wide in places and in this enormous voluminous cavern that you're suddenly almost feeling timid and small to see the scale of you look and see the single tiny tiny pinprick of light scrying you draw closer closer to it at this point in time, Spine Crusher sneezes from the incense. I need you to make a save for the concentration to hold. God damn it. Okay, do I have advantage? I'm sorry. I didn't mean to ruin anything. <laughs> sorry, man. That's why I said that eight. I was. Yeah. So normally I have advantage. Oh, yeah. I have advantage on cod saves to maintain a concentration spell. Oh, when I take damage. Do I take damage from his sneeze? <laughs> Only the no, it's, it's have fallen on you. I'm, I'm DM ruling this. It's a distracting sneeze that would jar you away because Spine Crusher is a big boy. And that, that's got that hachoo! <laughs> kind of. So is this a warlike situation where I would get advantage or not? Spine Crusher's battle cry? I mean, you're surrounded by lava flows as far as your perception and it's scary and then you hear a big noise when you're Let's crying. Let's go, advantage. Only the red scourge, so. Yeah. Oh, bless up! I got a twenty. We're fine. You're good. Okay. <laughs> twenty-two. You just you like kind of ignore it and everything. I'm and, in the zone. Yeah, that cell phone going off ain't taking you away from this movie. Mm -hmm. Um, you lean closer, yep. and as you do, you sort of your vision flies towards this glowing orb, and there, suspended in the air, you see the keystone floating. There. Or A. Best you can tell, it's exactly the same thing you have in this manner, floating right there in this room. And then as you're looking at it, that's when you see the figure behind just kind of shift a bit. A single glowing, almost like topaz looking eye opens and looks around. This deep, Basey rumble, almost like a, like a subwoofer that's on full blast, just right by you. Something that one of those deep shaking, like fireworks that can feel more in your chest. The rattling, rumbling shape of this deep <laughs> voice makes you kind of quiver a bit. As the Red Scourge. <laughs> begins pacing around the room. The lava continues cooling and swirling around the keystone. You are back in the room. Wow. So, um... Does this thing have, like, uh, other versions of it? Ooh. I immediately go through my pack and start looking for the keystone. You find it. There's more than one. I cast legend lore on the keystone. Um, <gasps> you know, I've been happy before. You have you not know, that, that. You know, I, as we're sitting here, as I've spent all my spell slots, I'm like that would have been really smart to do. First like, thing in the morning, you could always put it on the old to do, do list. 
Um, I should probably message Warren and let her know I'm not scrying on her so she doesn't need to talk into the nothingness for the next 10 minutes. Maybe it's better that you don't just... No, I feel like, sorry, we had to scry on an ancient dragon. We didn't, I didn't have juice to scry on you. Catch, catch up soon? How about when we see her face to face, you just say, like, thank you for the information. It's so interesting. <laughs> no, I'm not going to let her talk into nothing for ten minutes. That seems like a dick move. I would like, like, I feel like I've already started casting sending, and then, like, the last couple words I see is, I'm not going to let her talk into the nothing yeah. for 10 minutes. That would be a dick move. <laughs> oh, hi. All right. So you said all that? <laughs> I think it would be funny if I okay. did. Okay. All right. Uh, we can be more professional. No, 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 no. We no, want no. to be nicer to wear in. When have you guys ever been professional? Stop it. All right. So she just like, because I, I just, just broke a bunk bed. an ancient red dragon. <laughs> Sarah. Uh, up, up above on the top bunk, you just hear uh, Spine Crusher just like loudly blow his nose like a horn. <laughs> <laughs> that, that uses up like two of my words. <laughs> uh, Zara just kind of, or I'm sorry, not Zara, wearing. Um, uh, Sarah, you're fine. I mean, I'm glad you didn't scry because I needed to get dressed real quick. Just got out of the bath. Uh, I fucking warned her. If you're back, we can meet soon. Um, send me a message tomorrow and we'll find a place to meet. That sounds good. And what? No, I'm, all, I'm not talking to myself. I'm <laughs> or these bad boys i can keep just calling her back. <laughs> yeah wait um okay so she already get we already got a location so just just so life. i just so i know what how much more have you got as far as like the uh, I mean, as far as spell slots so i understand like, okay the, so ever i'm everything over five is exhausted i still have um two yeah two thirds and two fourths so that's four oh. talking spells. God damn it, I am pulling up your character sheet. Hold on. <laughs> Go look at it. I got a bunch of them. Scry's third level. Holy, only what is this? Shit? Is Scry is, Scry is Scry. third no, 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 level? No, 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 no. Sending, sending, sending is third level. Sending is third oh, level. Oh, God. I was going to say. I like... used up all. I used my last high level spell slot on Ancient Red Dragon snooping. Mm. I could just talk now. Which was also like, what did you expect to see? It was like. <laughs> But you did see some. I mean, we learned something info, very yeah. important. You did. You absolutely did. And I have to wait Good till tomorrow call. to scry on the um. I mean, to scry to legend lore on the football. I learned yep. that I should be multi-classing Triskana. <sighs> <Yeah>. <laughs> you guys were like, "Please play a cleric," and I was like, yeah. oh, yes, a cleric." Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Right. Everyone was like, so so cool. I can't. <laughs> Everyone always yeah. thinks like clerics are just healing, and that's it. Okay, clerics cool. You know, they get clerics are my no. fifth, fifth edition class. They're, yeah, they're absolutely incredible. Um, super versatile in terms of like. All right, not uh, let's back on the game. All right, well, so I, no, I was literally like, I'm not going to be the girl that plays the cleric, and then I looked at clerics, and I was like, actually, maybe these guys are kind of unhinged. They're yeah. cracked. I love them. Yeah. I'll never play anything yeah. else. And all yeah. I'm going to say is, guys, clerk. <laughs> If you guys try to scry on me, you're going to be like, what's the tavern look like? I'm going to be like, there's, there's wood and some stone. <laughs> uh, there are wood. five guys and they're all like, named Carl. <laughs> <laughs> it's all spelled differently, what, though. What's your name, Carl? Yeah. I don't need no Carol. <laughs> Carl. Carlos. Carlos. Carl, Carl, <laughs> Carol. All the way down. Yeah. Um, yeah. Anyway. Um, okay. Carl's curl. What do you do next? All right, I think we're about done. I think we should just, uh, unless anyone else wants to talk to an extended family member I've never heard about before. You can t- okay, yeah. so yeah, Spine Crusher, if you have any family in Farragut. Yeah, you want to call otherwise. anyone up real quick? I have no one I wish to speak to. Okay, Ouch. who is someone that you don't wish to speak to that I could prank call? <sighs> I could make them think it's your god. I'm pretty sure they don't think of me just like I don't think of them. Yeah, okay, but what if I was like, this is your god, you failed us. <laughs> Cursed for a thousand years. And then just let them, I think that would be fun. The wa- At this point, Reggie's like, I think the wine is kicking in, so, Zara. Soup, 
super no. funny, but also, can I just remind everyone what happened the last time when we dazzled with Khrushchev? All right, that's very true. Maybe we shouldn't mess with Khrushchev's um, guards while, like, he's actively trying to murder us. That is a very fair point. All right, I got, I got one it more. It was funny, though. Would be funny, though. I got one more that'll just help, help us plot our course. Oh, that's excellent. Great. Productive. Let's I don't go. know if you know him, though. Thrain Heartblood. Ooh. You met Thrain, briefly, oh. in did Marheim. She? she did. In Marheim, at the library, where Reggie and met F and Thrain. Uh, Zare was there as well, because it was just after the fall of Teleortha. Oh, shit. Right after we yeah. got back. Okay. Yeah. He's after the one that gave back. us the keystone. Yes. And we need to meet him next time mm. we're the east side of Stalesha. All right. So, realistically, what's the course we're plotting? Burning Isles. Burning Isles. Take the sky Fergendal. ship. Escort the line into Fergendal. Uh, into Floelg or Marheim or both. <laughs> I, thought it was, I thought it was Floelg first and then Marheim. Yeah, that sounds right. Maybe work that makes our way more back sense east. geographically. Yeah. Mm -hmm. God, I've only known this continent for like. A few months. Matthew, <clears throat> I mean, Matt, can you put the, the map into Fantasy Grounds by any chance, just so I can... Yeah, the map of in... the... Um... Or is it, can I pull it up from images? Yeah, you might be able to. One second. Mm -mm. Here it is. The map of Fergnall or the map of the continent? The continent. Yeah, give me one moment and I That's... will... No worries. Oh, I love Stale Shop, please. Okay. Oh, God. Marheim's a lot more to the west than I thought it was. O opposite end of the uh, world for you guys. Yeah, jeez. Yeah, that is a long sailing trip. Yep. My God. So, this is Stale Shop. And a bit outdated as far as the map goes in terms of where the Thontillians are. Yeah, I realized, like, my last um, image yeah. of... Um, where we are is probably horribly outdated now. So you guys got picked up and sat down again. You guys are right now at that first island south of Higurashil. The one that looks a little bit like a chicken foot. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, I like it. Um, and we can't just sail the flow out, can we? I mean, we can. It's gonna take. Oh, not to flow hell. No, no, they're landlocked. So just, just so I'm understanding with this map, where is the tunnel located? The tunnel they just dug out. Yeah. Um. So you see Kanye. Yep. Uh, just to the right of Kanye, you see where like the there's that little kind of like part where the water just almost wants to kind of, you know. It, it makes like a pinch point right there, like an hourglass yeah. almost with the mountains. Yeah. yeah. Right, right there. Right where that, like the the yeah. um, fields meet up with like the Yeah, so really it's the entrance to the tunnels are there at on the ocean side on the right. But you guys wouldn't know any of this, so fuck off. <laughs> Wait, no, we did. They told us about the tunnels. <laughs> they told you there was a tunnel. But they didn't tell um, you all the, you know, they didn't tell you. The yeah, take the left up at the first thing, and then when you get to the side. No, right. you, know, you guys Fair don't know. Enough. I've already given up too much. Fair enough. All right. All right. The anyway, point is, somewhere in that ocean is somewhere a in the ocean is somewhere to Kanye. Yeah. You'll probably find some buoys saying, like, you know, 33 miles to the next exit. <laughs> yeah. We have no other business in Marine besides Thrain, so if you can maybe. Meet us in Floelg. That would save us several weeks' time. time. I mean, unless we take the airship, in which case it doesn't matter. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's true. Oh, yeah, that thing, can, that thing can think and cook it. Yeah, I don't want to make him, like, hire a carriage just to go all the way to Floelg. You're right. Okay, so. Made some fate. Burning what? Isles side quest. It'll be fun. He doesn't care about that. He just needs to know, like, we're... We're in Higuri's jail, but we're heading east. Yep. We're heading we, east. We meet him in like Estimated a month. time of arrival, what, like? Probably a month. Week, two Wait, weeks, Matt, what, a month, a month. What do we think it would be? 
The Burning Ooh. Isles? No. Is big, to get to like no, Marheim but... or if, I think Thrain is in Marheim. So okay. how long okay. do I think so... it's take there? If we're going to go to the Burning Isles first and then head over there, Bearing... how long does our uneducated asses think it would take us? In an airship. Bearing in mind, when you flew from south, southern, southern Floheld, like pretty much on the map, um, that little peninsula as far south of Floheld as you can get close to Farragandal, right? Um, from there, passing over Crack Skull Pass toward, and passing over the Waste to Higurishil, you ended up, that was probably two weeks. By airship, so oh, at least you're nice. looking. Oh. I would say a good a good estimate is for a comparable distance would be but by, by ship, um, a month rather than a week, right? So let's say airship is about four times as fast as you can travel by a ship. Yeah. Um, by ship is much faster than you can travel on foot or on by yeah. a carriage or by horse, right? It's a um, big but still, you know, by horse is probably the fastest on land you can. Travel unless you have a speeder, but speeders are more for short distances than yeah, for. Yeah, I crashed that bad boy. Oops. Yep. Not to mention that would that's more for like one day sprints than you know for long journeys across continents. So. so we would we would probably just own like several weeks. ETA a month ish. Yeah. We're looking at probably a month. Take. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Good know. thing is you know, the ocean and the air seems. Mostly uneventful between here and between here and the Burning Isles. You're probably looking if you're just like kind of floating around, circling. Assuming Mirashel, the god of madness, does not attempt to spite us, which he probably will. Uh, but we won't be I'm in the not... water this time, so that's something he will. I will not be surprised if he capsizes some or all of our ships. How does he capsize an airship? Holy shit! No, no, no. I mean the wine world. ships, not the airship. Oh, the yeah, ones yeah. we're escorting. He will probably lay claim to those and just lay them to waste. Mm -hmm. That sounds about right. That yeah. sounds something, like something Marichal would do. Mm -hmm. All right. Yeah. So. I'm calling this man and letting him know we should meet up yeah. in a month. I would also Three like to person how to kill Marichal, but we can we can have that conversation face to face. We I like I said I got like another a hundred words. I can cast message four times to this man. Let's see how it goes. He wants to give us the play by play of how to defeat Marichal. So he might not know we go by mates of fate now, but he's by sure hurt. For sure heard of us, so it's... It's a Drax that and the gang. Um, a Drax that <laughs> Why do we go by that? Really... <laughs> You're the only one he actually knows! I'm just some dude that showed up, and now we've got Spine Crusher, so... I don't think he's ever met Spine Crusher. Okay, we've changed the local. Just... No more makes of fate. It's all just a Drax and the gang from here on out. <laughs> It's like a, it's an always sunny intro, which is cuts, yeah. It's a harsh cut to a Drax and the gang. Yeah, or just a Drax's gang. We just all just have like tattoos that say a Drax across our. Beige. <laughs> yeah. My first tattoo. All right, when so you're sorry. a jet, you're a jet all the way. <laughs> so again, all right. Summarize this for me and for Zara, so I get this in twenty-five words. Okay. You're Thrain, how are you? I'm fine. It is a Drax of the Mates of Fate. Wow, well, what? Oh, hi there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Drax of the Mates of Fate. That's already like half the words, man. In Higgory Shell, headed east, doing about a month, where to meet. Yeah, that's like only 23 words. Those exact words, I say them. Love you. Hello. Love you. Yeah. With right. love. AG. Right. Okay. Uh... Parentheses, <laughs> Drax and Gang. <laughs> Thrain, uh, after a few moments. Yes, I remember. Um, things are a bit hot around Floor Hill now. I'm in Vermilion. Just west of Clan. I can try to find a way. Glad to hear you are alive. And Regina, is she well? At this point, oh. he he casts sending to you. Yay! I was like, I was going to listen to yeah, this book. Yeah, he, he casts. I have to tell you, 
But survival is of the utmost importance. From what I've read, from what I've discovered since, keep us safe. I think it'll be a long, hard way to get to Marheim. Is there anywhere else you, we could meet? Dwarven markets. That be. Oh, and we miss. You can reply to this message. <laughs> there it is. <laughs> if not any closer, but it might be. History check. May I? Does it even apply to me? It, yeah. Or, yeah. Oh, oh. History yeah. or intelligence check for you. Either way. Oops. Your choices, guys. Uh, uh, same hat. So I'll take a. <gasps> Natural 20, baby! Yay. 22! You recall, 20, yeah, okay. 21, 21. You recall hearing the other day Valenquip saying the Dwarven markets were sealed off. That they closed down. They uh, dropped stones to close off the markets to keep the uh, war out. So I'll communicate with them that essentially that like last I heard the Dwarven markets are sealed. Are you currently in there? Because you can't head there. I use a spell slot saying that. <clears throat> also, well, no, that, that was you were on the reply. Oh, 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 oh I'm on the reply. You're no on worries. the reply, so you, yeah. The benefits right. of um, starting a conversation with someone who knows a little bit of magic and isn't, again. you know, is actually awesome. courteous. Also, is this dire enough that I should be casting like death ward on Reggie every eight hours? You can do that. Yes, a hundred percent. Yes, it's a fourth level spell. That's all my fourth levels for a day. I can do it though. Okay, how about on the days where she's not trapped in the feather house? No, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, valid, valid. On the days we let her out for first air, yes, please. That should be every day, my also, god. I bang Reggie. I would that. like to think some of this overlaps. In yeah, Reggie life. just kind of says, like, look at it. If it's... I'm just happy to be out where I can see sunlight. Are you, you like listening to this? Yeah. I can, yes, I'm right here. I the can patron stay of our here. whole journey just said everything depends on you being safe. Just saying. If Sorry. I stay in the feather house, yeah, I'll that's a lot mad. of pressure. If I go mad, that will draw a miracle. God of madness yeah, here to me. I don't think that's safe either. Young people. So I need to be out of the feather a Draxa. I need to be out of the feather house. I can't stand it anymore. I'm not See, and that, saying that, all the time. that's fine. I'll cast Death Ward. It'll be great. I'm not Whitney. Sometimes. She's good with magic. Can we, we can compromise on sometimes? Maybe one sometimes. can cast Death Ward. That'd be great. It's ridiculous. You are I, a child. You're I am not a child. You are acting like drone. a child. Just like as old as I am. Jesus. I'm the one being reasonable here. I'm not saying okay. we Also, keep I guess I am like 5,000 years older than I actually am, but still. Not saying all the time. I'm just saying the easiest way to keep you safe. He's in the feather house. Atraxa. Sparring lessons in the morning. Yes, yes, turns. yes. Wake me up for she this. She turns and walks out of the room. Wake um, me up for that. Where are you sleeping tonight? Who is standing guard by your room? Constant vigilance. She, you know, snarls back. Insight check. You fucking kid, I swear to God. <laughs> all right. Anyway, are we finally going to sleep for tonight? No. Are we good enough? You guys won't even get to the long fucking rest. 16. 16. <laughs> Reggie is pissed right now. Good. Yeah. You guys are having like a bit of a fight right now. Well, I called her a child, so yeah. she's acting like a fucking child. Yeah, she's like... Even though you consider people adults at like 12, you know, whatever. That's fine. I don't know how old she is, though. Like, from what I can tell, she's about nine. <laughs> so, anything else you'd like to do? No, I think we'd finally like to long rest, right? Okay. Nighty night. Unless, unless you want me to, uh, like, speed it, dial someone. It, it, oh, no, it, it's already it, happened. Um, <laughs> all right. But sending someone? Oh, this is awkward. So... Are you are you doing anything else, or are we gonna? No. Am I allowed to click the long rest button, or something special? You're allowed. Oh, right. You're right. allowed to do the long rest button. All of you are allowed. Uh... To do However, I'd like to ask for wisdom saves from 
the draft set in Spine Crusher. But I was just sl- all I did was sleep. <laughs> what did I? <laughs> what did that sleep? incense, oh, I did. man. It's the incense. Wisdom save. Nat can we also 20. can I also click the bathroom button as well? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. No. Uh, nine. <clears throat> What's that? Nine. nine. And I just got a net okay. twenty. Yeah. Okay. So, um, do you, yeah, do you want to take a quick break? Let's take a quick break. Yeah, in five minutes. That. that was a shitload of scrying. Holy crap! <laughs> Matt needs a drink of water. You gave me access oh to like eight spell levels of um, <laughs> right. uh, of uh, meta gaming, and I said all let's right. use at least half of them. I don't understand yeah. why we're not using all of them, but okay. Matt, Matt was probably stressing about like, what are they going to do? I don't know where they're going to go. I can't possibly prepare an entire world for them. Oh, they just want story. Yeah. <laughs> they just no, it's fine. I'm happy with that. I can keep. Yeah. You guys want to? You can keep on doing the scrying and all that shit. That's all fine. I ever want to do in D and D is have slumber parties with my friends and learn about the world. That's it. <laughs> As I said, you probably you should have asked month. for a cleric, man. I came in. You got like a and... month of uninterrupted travel ahead of you. I built my entire Artem a character about having slumber I'm parties and sure learning about Mirishol. world lore. <laughs> I'm sure Mirishol won't. I'm just here to be your time. flight attendant for this, you know. Can I get you a warm blanket? Yes, please. Yes, please. All right, we'll be right back. Thanks for hanging out in the chat. You guys. you guys will be back in five. Yeah, stay hang. We'll see you right. later. Bye.
I'm back and I have all my spell slots. <laughs> oh yeah, long rest. All right. Oh yeah, did we click the button? All right, so I'm gonna do another two hours of exposition spell slot casting. <laughs> Hope you're ready for that. I did want to. I did want to say two things before I went to bed. One. Do I know why I just made a witness of wisdom save? No, is an okay answer. Do you know why you just what? Do I know why I just made a wisdom save? Does uh, Draxa know why she just made a wisdom save? Oh, no, you don't. You're right, fine. Yeah. I won't meta that. Was it out of character? Was it the day cast incense? It, no, it wasn't that you cast, used all that yeah, incense yeah, yeah. and all that. You're fine. No, this is a different thing. Okay. Uh, so, like, since I passed mine, I don't even know that anything happened. No, you rest peacefully through the night, tired and everything after your slumber party, and, you know, staying up to ask all sorts of questions, like, you know, where is the Red Scourge now, anyways? I mean, lava, okay, but... And then other questions, like, you know, why do feet look like that? Why are winter toes so wampin'? Yeah. Um, Great question. A Draxa would have made a mental note to wake up early, like before the sparring. sunrise. Okay, constant vigilance. Um, Ideally before Reggie, like yeah. 4.30 early. Oh, God. Okay, so you drink a lot of water right. that night to yes. make sure that you wake up. Correct. Um, uh, Zara, you sleep fine as well. Mm -hmm. The reason is nothing to do with all the incense or anything else in the room and allergies and this and that. The reason I asked Draxa and Vine Crusher to make that save is because you two were on the front lines when Krushnak came roaring from Ilmater's Peak. You two were there. And Adraxa, you maybe have suppressed some of those thoughts and worries into your subconscious, but Spine Crusher, it's at that moment, as you're there in the night, starting to have those moments coming back and reliving them. You see friends crushed under the metal fists of the First Legion. They swing their arms heavy as the, the war mall, just <laughs> cracking from collarbone to hip easily, effortlessly. And amidst that chaos, that supreme savagery. You saw the rift in the world tear open of the mountain on the horizon. You saw something crawling out of that pocket between space. Like a bat that flew straight over, flying over towards you now as you are there, no longer in the Villa, the manor. You're there, not even in front of Higurus Show. In a way, the city is there. But in your mind, as you're dreaming, the city is this far off, distant thing that you know you're supposed to be protecting, but you don't know why. You don't know where it is or what direction it is. You turn to swing your you know, club and war hammer again and again through the battle to the point that you're dizzy now. You've lost all sense of north and south between fiery haze that doesn't quite match what you remember from battle itself, but that same orange glow that you've seen from fires that have consumed whole forests. And you swing the Warhammer again and again until it almost pulls you down with it. Weight suddenly becomes too heavy to lift. You look up, you feel small before this mighty thing, this bat-like creature that's now dropped down, walking on its wings towards you. It unfolds its jaw with a sickening crunch. Massive teeth unfurling. Looks directly into your eyes, and suddenly, as its eyes lock on yours, it's all you your eyes focus on for a moment. Stairs. Oh, breaker. Everyone you've ever cared for, you've turned your backs on them, you had. Oathbreaker. Breaker. 
The oath was a lie. Your fidelity was a lie, boy. You had your chance. You walk what you've chosen. You've chosen the path of ruin. You've chosen the path of faithlessness. Chaos of treachery. Oh. You. You honor this boy. Even that name you've given yourself, that honorable moniker, Spine Crusher. How many of your friends, as you are talking about lies, how many of your friends thought that was some sort of phrase you'd lavish upon yourself? The bat kind of drops down, snarling at you. How many thought Spine Crusher had to do with the way you swore that stick of yours around the battlefield? Shame. Shame, boy. That's oh, all you have. It's shame. At this point, you hear. Oh, girl! Turn. You look. You see one of your brothers in arms. And his face is cleaved in half. Why? Turned your back on us. Turned your back on all of us. Oh. It's his fault. It's his fault we're dead. It's his fault. And then he just stumbles down to his knees and everything. Blood pouring down. His body becomes ash. Sands around you are red. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> And at this point, the bat suddenly starts to vanish, and you feel a hand on your left shoulder and a voice as you hear this hot, you know, you feel a hot, sticking breath on your right cheek. Oh, things catching up to you soon. Debt's repaid. You wake up in the middle of the night in a sweat. Terrified, the smell of incense gets you and you feel like you can't breathe. Dark. You're unfamiliar. The strangeness of this room. At first, you're sitting on the top bunk, so the ceiling right above your face feels even more confining. And oh, Fuck, where am I? You're no stranger to this feeling. Having a night terror. You've been in many battles. You've had them before. This one... Well, this one hit differently. Kind of swing your legs over the side of the bed and sit up for a minute. Breath. I rest my face in my hands and wipe the sweat off my brow. <sighs> is anybody else awake? Or is it just the middle of the night? Well, what's everyone's passive perception? 14. You're you're sound asleep, actually. Yeah. Nineteen. You wake up, Sarah. I do. I wish to do anything though. Or kind of like I yeah. You open your eyes and everything, and you hear this. You you wake up to the sound of spine crushers screaming. Oh wow! Okay. Um. Kind of like I was like. I I listen to see if I can hear the sound of a Draxa screaming. <laughs> <laughs> no, okay, that's a little weird that it's just one of them. Okay, like I'll wait like another 30 seconds. What do I hear in that time? At this point, um Spine Crusher kind of just gently or jet for him gently tries to get down from the bunk bed to put out the uh the incense that was left on and uh he attributes the nightmare he had to the uh, to his allergic reaction to the incense. Bulls well, leaving this on overnight. Could have burned the room down. for four hours. No, um, 
Okay, yeah, if it doesn't sound like anything else is happening, if he doesn't have any more screams or night terrors, I'm just gonna assume it's some tomfoolery related to a Draxa and constant vigilance. And I'll just, just roll over kicking the underside of his bunk. Is he dying? No, we're good, alright. <laughs> alright. And I crawl back into bed and put the pillow over my head and try to drown out any, all right. any external sounds. I would sounds. say... For the next 24 hours, you are at disadvantage against any saves against being frightened. Okay. Ooh, All right. I like That's it. Very right. fun. Yep. Um, so, the night passes. You wake up feeling well rested. <sighs> the warm sunlight takes the thick, thick outsides of the curtains while the room around you is nice and dark. and You don't wake up until the light is bright enough that it's actually coming in through the doorway. Well, through the little gap underneath of the door. And that enough is going to wake you guys. Well, except for Adraxa, who intends to wake up at 4.30. Uh, as your bladder goodness. alerts you that it's time to get up, right. you hurry up and go do the necessary and then find yourself up. 4.30. The best ready. alarm clock. The uh, bladder. Ready to stretch and everything and stroll the promenade to make sure that you find a suitable location for sparring. So I, uh, with my axe over my shoulder, I just quietly open Renju's door and I stand over her bed. Okay, stealth check. <laughs> I don't think, yeah, I guess I would be doing it quietly. All right. You are my five-year-old at the side of my bed at 6 a.m. 18. He's a cleric. Yeah. He's probably a decent passive, Z right? Zeph Maybe. refers to it as Kool-Aid man and into the bedroom. Oh, yeah. <laughs> That's how we're woken every day is by Kool-Aid man bursting into our room. Second. Damn, one of y'all was supposed to wake up. Okay. I want to see how um, it unfolds. You go planning on sitting in front of, uh, standing over her bed while she sleeps. However, you yeah. open the door and find her already midway through tying, lacing up her sandals. Good, you're up. Really? Let's take a walk. Yes, let's. Continues. She finishes up lacing up her sandal and everything, and uh, you know grabs her uh, sword from her and scabbard from, you know, from the bed and wraps ties it around her. She's not wearing the kind of like lacy flowing dress that you'd been accustomed to seeing her wear lately. Now she's wearing, you know, what looks to be her black black uh, training garments. You know, quilted padding and. Uh, like uh, nice loose fitting pants leading up to the almost like capris. She looks pissed still, <laughs> um, tired like she hadn't really, you know, she'd been hoping she would be getting a good long rest, but instead, it's, it's up for the shit. shit again. Yeah, so you go out and it's a quiet, cool of dawn starting to slowly creep up, but even the birds are all asleep now. Start making my way like into the woods because I know this path now to the beach. To start heading towards the water. Yeah, you head out. The air is cool and crisp. It's damp on the grass. You know, hitting your feet, but I'm assuming you're in your boots. You uh, make your way through the woods, crossing the mossy embankments along the streams. So you get to the beach. There's sound of the surf you know it's quiet faintest glimpse of maybe honey like light coming up over the edge of the horizon but another hour or so before dawn put my axe in the sand like head down and I'm just gonna like lean on the handle you really want to fight your auntie do they that's what it takes Prove I'm not a child. I know you're not a child. 
You act like a child sometimes. I'll admit, I'm maybe a bit petulant, but it's not that. It's that I'm... I think you would say that I'm defined. I think I see people underestimating me. Maybe it upsets me most of all to see you underestimating me. I have nothing I have to do with to you. I just... I know there's a lot that's riding on me, and it's a lot to carry on my shoulders all the time, knowing I'm supposed to make this big decision. I'm supposed to save the world. How do I know I'm ready to save the world if I'm constantly... I'm never given the chance to really prove myself, to really know what I'm, that I'm able to face anything. You keep me tucked away behind some, you know, all those silk curtains and tapestries and everything or whatever you have in mind. I'm not going to be able to face what's out there. So what would you do if you were me? You were tasked with protecting the most important thing in all of creation. What would I you don't do know. To I that? don't know. You think I'm doing it wrong? I... You do it differently? I'll listen I would to make you. Sure, I would make sure that the chosen one, as you keep on calling me, is able to make the right choice and able to defend herself as well. Pick up that axe. We're in charge now. Yes. On your guard. Up to you, Draxa. Make an initiative check. Or initiative roll. Roll for initiative. God damn it, it's been a while. All right. All right. <laughs> Nat one. So go ahead, you're first. No! 16 for yeah. me. Yeah, 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 yeah. So go ahead. Don't pick up my axe. I uh, <laughs> I use my intimidating presence to frighten her. Okay. <laughs> uh, so what is it? Wisdom saving it's a throw. Wisdom saving throw. Okay. Uh, she rolls a thirteen. Okay, so she fails. Okay, so she's. You pick up my axe. As you kind of like snarl at her and everything, or not even snarl, you just kind of like give a look of like, you pick it up. That was alpha. Which is, yeah, like, <laughs> she's like not even understanding the play that you're making at her. Like, ah. I'm, I'm kind of curious, wait. What I, since I asked to be awakened, am I awake? I mean, yes. I wasn't oh, awake. Right. I didn't sneak with out that, of with your passive, room. With your passive, I'd say you woke up and maybe kind of like, Followed yeah, I wasn't trying to sneak past you, and I wouldn't have minded if you followed me. Just for the any. tomfoolery, could I have given her guidance on that? Just to <laughs> see. On the, on the uh, yeah, so that's what, a plus four? D4. Plus a D4. A moment as I grab a D4. Just for the funnies. I 13 mean, plus It's a DC of 14, three, so, so it's now 16. It's, yeah, so that succeeds. Okay, 16. I'm as sorry. Like, as like. Yeah, Zara from I'm gonna say from the sidelines of like the trees and everything in the back, like <laughs> Reggie, you can do this, Reggie, you can do this. <laughs> you know, fucking Hermione know, Granger exactly. over here. God damn it. <laughs> All right. Good. Yeah. Um <laughs> Test and Confundus. Uh no. She kind of looks and says, Pick up your axe. She puts her sword in the sand then. Raises, raises, raises her fists. It's fisty cut. Crack of the, nuff, crack of the nuff, knuckles. I'm going to hit you again. I know you're a good fighter. I know you can hold your own. This so is what not do you want me to prove? I what will it take? It's not about you. I don't need you to prove anything. If it was me, the situation would be the same. If I was the most important thing in the world, then I would, be need I would need to be kept safe. I'm sorry these are the roles we're in, but this is the hand we've been dealt. That's it. Accept that. I, I can't accept that because it's not you, it's me. 
I can don't negotiate. Look at me like that. I'm open to it. You tell me what you want to do and we can do it. But I don't have a better idea. I just have the one job and that's it. That's all I've I got. I don't now. want to sit in a cage. That's all. I don't want to sit in a cage while, while my friends die. Kind of like right there, the, you know, the ashen sands. Just You played the dead friends there. card. This is a different kind of initiative. God damn it. <laughs> Sorry. Um, look, yeah. Do you want to be there for every fight? I'm gonna roll up your sleeves and be there for every fight from now on? One out of three? I, what do you want? The right ones. I want to be ready! I want to be ready so that it doesn't happen next time. I can't lose you! I can't lose... There it is. I can't lose you. I can't... There, I can't use, lose... El Reno or anyone. You can. How many more swords in the sand, Adraxa? How many more? You'd be surprised how many you can handle. I don't want there to be any. I don't want there to need to be any. I know that if I'm there, I'll make a difference. Okay. Okay. Okay? Under off. Please. Wander off to what? No, we're not. This is our sparring lesson, as you said. You didn't want to pick up your axe, so fine. We're dealing with something different. You want to see that I can fight? I'm going to fight for what I want, what I need. No different than needing to wrestle a knife from someone's hands. This is life or death, Adraxa. It is death inside that feather house it is death inside that cage and i'm not going to stand for it i'm not going to let my life be just washed away to oblivion hiding away while the world burns you want to keep me safe like some precious goddamn dove you chose the wrong person you have fucking chosen one <laughs> she gets up and then she wanders off Yeah. Zara, make a stealth check. Green Googly Moogly, that's all I go to shit. Um... Oh, I actually rolled an 18. Damn, like okay. you can check my rolls. <sighs> Amazing. Um, the narrative been... storytelling okay. said, you go. You're good. So she does not see you, which is very lucky. <laughs> <laughs> very, very lucky that she does not see you. And I'll say, thank God, these trees are weird colors. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> fucking purple trees. All right, yeah, I love it's, that. It's, you know, what? it's it's the early dawn light coming up over the over the sea, cast everything that sort of you know cast all shade. Yeah, Spine Crusher, you are sleeping away now. No, uh, so at We're this not... point, yeah, a Spine Crusher like woke up and he just like he's like half grog. He just. <laughs> poured himself a cup of coffee and wandered down like to the bottom floor and stepped out the back door just to look towards <laughs> towards the beach. And he's he looks out, he sees like a Draxa and uh and uh and what's her face? And he's like <clears throat> the one, you know. What are they arguing about? You would and I'm standing there just like in the in those boxers with the hearts on them. <laughs> like on the one. ship. <laughs> Yeah, just talking to myself. <laughs> you, if you could see the beach, then you would see a Draxa reach into her boot, pull out a child's dagger, and hurl it at Reggie's ear. Okay, one second. Oh, shit. <clears throat> <laughs> oh, shit. She wheels around, catches it. Yes! Let's fucking go, Reggie! Constant vigilance. Girl. She immediately throws it right back at you, so... That's gonna be. Reggie, badass arc. Let's go. Ah, <laughs> she throws it wide though, uh, as it kind of like more or less like throws it at the sand at your feet and everything. With guidance though, it, it doesn't count unless you With hit. With a d four. Yeah, she then all right, you know, pulls, raises up her fist and everything, squares up with you. I, I take my cloak off my shoulder and drop it in the sand. 
It just blows away like someone, like a kid throwing a towel up at the beach. Yeah, <laughs> sand everywhere. Dirty, dirty trick. Come on. Your turn. Look up at the fire. water. I might try and sucker punch her in the face. <laughs> All right, go ahead. <laughs> Oh, uh, now I feel that that is a 26 to hit. 26 to hit will hit, oh my Ooh. god. <laughs> Fuck! <laughs> I'm not my headphones off. <laughs> I, I hit him so hard he can't hear. Yeah. <laughs> hit so hard the DM actually like got hurt. <laughs> I can't um, do shit without being noticed. I'm not instantly bloody her nose and everything. Fuck! She raises her hands up. <sighs> More vigilant than that, come on. All right, she throws another fist. Well, not another, she throws the first fist at you. Uh, that's going to be a 19 to hit. Oh, that does just hit. Okay, so that will be a... Oh, it's just going to be a... <laughs> it's going to be a four uh, damage. Cool. Okay. That's it? All right. That's all you got? That's... You good? Kind of like circles a bit. All right. Show me what you do. I try and grab hey. her by the front of her shirt and pin her to the, the sand. Okay. Uh, make a strength check. I believe it it's is. It's going to be contested. Oh, no. Oh no, that's a six. I'm that's humiliated. I'm that's taking psychic damage. You try to grab her. <laughs> you, look, she immediately, you do the thing, you like kind of, you pin her to the ground for a second, and she immediately uses her foot to kick and flip you back onto your back. Okay. Um, all right, from there, uh, she is going to then try and, you know, kick up off the ground to be, now she's, you know, you know, on her knees over you, and she's going to try and, Punch you in the face. <laughs> That's gonna be uh, 22 to hit. <laughs> I'm sorry, 21 to hit. Yeah. So yeah, she immediately fucking flips. You know, so in one quick move, faster than you can think, you try to pin her to the ground, thinking this will be easy, and she immediately flips you over on your back, flips back over so that you know she's hovering over you now, and then pops you right in the face. So that will be Fuck a. That. Restraining the urge to save oh, right. her up, Reggie uh, is strong. Six points of damage. <laughs> All right. Somehow I think I'll be okay. Yeah. Take the opportunity to try and sweep sweep her leg out from under her. <laughs> uh, she's like kneeling over. So, yeah, you can yeah. just try and. Oh, that's yeah. an eleven to hit. I'm distracted and humiliated. <laughs> it <laughs> misses. Okay. So yeah, you try and like sweep her out and everything, but she's just like, you know, like wily on her feet. And, you know, avoids getting your leg. She knew that was coming, almost. Uh, I'm All old right. and slow. All right. It looks like the person who trained her. <laughs> Another 21. That'll hit. All right, as you catch an elbow <laughs> across the cheekbone. All right. That will be... Another six points of damage. <laughs> okay. What the heck is Reggie? Let's go. Oh. Done. You look like you have more to prove. <laughs> she just kind of make a perception check for a moment. All right. Yeah, sixteen. For a moment, you see, there's a different sort of light. To Reggie's eyes. Her aspect looks different. And her eyes go almost blackish for a moment. But there's a sheen of light to them as well. It's unsettling. This looks like a Reggie that's kind of always given over to this sort of rage, sort of anger. And you're actually a bit concerned for just a moment. He's not listening to you. Okay, does a does an eighteen hit? Eighteen just hits. Okay, yeah, she's she fucking hits you again. Uh, that is another six points of damage as she, you know, this time with the left, 
clocks the other way. All right. Are you trying to prove this to me or to you? Well, my husband trained with Malik in the other house. So I know. Dang. It's not me. I'm not the one you're trying to convince. It's you. I grab her by the front of the shirt and I headbutt her in the face. I try to. No, you do. Or probably. <laughs> yeah. Oh, no. We can attack. We can attack. I will. I will. Here we go. That's a 27 to hit. Yeah, you fucking headbutt her. All right. <laughs> Six points of damage for her. Okay. Reggie is straight up Raphael from the first Ninja Turtles movie. Dope. All right. It's enough yeah. that she kind of like stumbles back a bit and she's not on top of you anymore. So you can get up. Where are you right now? She shakes. What are you trying to prove? This isn't about the Feather House. What are you trying to prove? Figure it out or you hit me again. Go. You guys guided the round. She swings wild. Uh, I'm assuming that Eleven does not. Mm. So she just... <laughs> again and again trying to hit you and you just dodge left, right, left. I didn't put you in this position. I didn't make you the goddamn chosen one. What are you trying to prove? <laughs> She tries again. 20. Battle hand. All right, she hits you in the side. <laughs> Gonna be another six points of damage. All right. You just feel this oh, goddamn solid hit to your, you know, to your ribs. All right. She's you know me. Enough. You know I can do this all day. You better figure it out quick. Punch her in the face again. All right. <laughs> oh, no. I missed as an 11. I'm like, strain something. I'm so fucking yeah, old. Yeah, that 11 misses. <laughs> so she is going to nat 20. <laughs> All right. That's so cool. she sweeps the leg. You fall prone. That's going to be... Okay, 12 points of damage. As she sweeps the leg and then... <laughs> lands two punches against you. Um, one of which <coughs> catches you in the throat. She's fucking playing dirty at this point. Um, yeah. So. So what are you trying to prove? And grab, grab her by the front. Try to throw her into the sand again. Just all right. To pin her. Ugh, so fucking embarrassing. That's, that's a 12 for strength. Can't she beat a 12? Find out. Just one guidance card. Seven. Seven. Oh, Seven. Even, yeah. even though like my face is started a little swollen, she just knocked the air out of me. Push her into the sand. You know it's... who you are. I am not the reason <gasps> you're in this. <sighs> Five. She tries to push up. Make a contested strength to see if you can beat a five attraction. I hope so, but knowing how I'm rolling, uh, that's a 17. Mm hmm. You have her pinned down. Okay. You can fight with us. Can you tell me what this is really about? I didn't do this to you. What is it? It's your turn, by the way. Sorry. Oh, great. <laughs> um, I'll just get to my feet. I'll just put a boot on her chest and just wait. Okay. Ah. Uh, uh, contested strength. You need to beat a ten. Eight. Eight. Fuck it, It's just okay. She, you're just not even. You're not even trying, but she just still surprising you with how much fight she still has left in her. She grabs your ankle and twists it Ow! Um, hard to where you actually stumble a bit. Enough to free you know, free herself. She gets up to her feet and kind of looks at you for a moment. You know what I want to prove? Alright. Uh, does a 22 hit? Yep, it does. Alright, so let's go. Um, that's going to be... All right, I lost my defense. I'm gonna find another. Love it. All right, uh, that's gonna be four points of damage. Okay. 
as she uh, goes and just just a straight like pff, almost like jackhammer kick to your shoulder, um, and then you know it's still up and ready. Everything. Uh, yeah. Go ahead. I do. <laughs> I'm gonna try and slap her across the face, and when I do. I'm going to lay on hands for 10 points of healing. <laughs> oh <my God. laughs> nice. All right. Go ahead and make a hit. <laughs> I'm going to roll to attack yeah. with my Just tender attack. loving healing. That's a Just nice... see if you can do it, because she's That is a nine, 19 to hit my yeah. lay on yeah, hands. Yeah, you... And yeah. she just kind of like glows as I make contact with her face. <laughs> healing her with each hit. All right. <clears throat> She feels this, you know, rush of warmth and blood and everything, and it all commingles with the adrenaline. All right, you slap her, slap her again, and she just, she just grabs you by the throat and everything. And she just, almost you feel her fingernails digging in for a second. As she grabs you. I want to, and I'm not going to be like him. We're pro- how her eyes look. I'm not like him. I'm not my father. My life. You have any idea what it's like? She drops down to the sand. Combat's over at this point. Combat's over when I say it's over. DM, motherfucker. Combat's over. She drops down. Unless you really want to fucking hit her. You can hit her again yeah. if you want to. I fucking Possibly decapitate this kid. Ruin my your... morning. <laughs> no, I don't know <clears throat> what it's like. Don't talk to us. I'm not ever given the fucking chance to talk to you. You lock me away. Nothing but fucking Arlington for company? I really? Ah, I was sorry. especially wrong. The eyes on the floor. <laughs> wrong. Uh, you're not wrong. I. Sorry. All my life, listen. Now, before, before you even came back, twenty odd years after I was an infant. All those years. You know how many times I had to deal with the jokes, stares, people saying she's descendant trash, and then the, my parents explained to me. Why does daddy look like that, and mommy looks like that, and I look like this? Any idea? And then, always wondering in the back of my mind, hearing the voices. Now I understand, it was voices speaking in Infernal. Every single day, every night, hearing those voices calling to me. And always being afraid I was going to be like that. Like him. The end of it. All the world is coming down to me making a choice. The right moment. I have no, no idea of knowing when that moment is. I'm just supposed to sit in a cupboard. Like some tea kettle. So it's time for me to blow. And I don't know. I'm never tested. I never know who I am. How do you have any idea what it's like not knowing, having all that weighing on my shoulders, and then having to know that I have to be the one that stands up to the test? It's easy enough for you to just lock me away and say that that's your responsibility. That's your responsibility to protect me. I have a responsibility to be the right one, be the chosen one, and to do the right thing when the time comes. Whatever that is, and there's no clue about what that is about what I'm expected to do constant vigilance you keep telling me constant vigilance why why I'm nothing if not vigilant constantly constantly wondering if I'm enough for this world this life that I've been thrown into without asking for it born with a mother dead already I was born with a father running from this world no, no. No, I was born with a real mother, a real father. She stepped up. Bigger was a real father. 
Reggie. Just remember that. Reggie, for God's sake. You are loved. I don't understand the position you're in. No I'm one could ask, understand the position I'm you're not in. Asking to, I'm not asking for love. I'm asking... Asking just for a chance to be. If I could trade with you, I would. That's not your choice, is it? No. None of us signed up for this. You're not the only one that's lost. I think you're just the only one that doesn't know how to get through it. Oh. No, you're right. I can't keep you away from a China cabinet and hope you don't get broken. And if this is fate coming... from her nose. <laughs> get her in, get in the back of... In the back for another like five points of healing as I just like chat. Wham! <laughs> <laughs> and you know, if this is fate or destiny or whatever that's coming for us, then it's gonna choose the time. And it's not gonna be when I had you locked up in the feather house. I'm not just gonna lose you in a random rowboat accident. It's gonna happen when it's supposed to happen. Right? It's just all I knew how to do. I just, I just had the one job. I just wanted to do I it don't. well. I didn't know. I can't be vigilant constantly if my eyes are glazing over. I need to be... I, I need to be here. In the world. In the real. You know? Where... Where my voice... And carry but my actions will make a difference in the world and I know I know that you feel guilt as well and I know that things can be hard when you know the risk failure now more than ever probably looks towards Stoa's sword, Runin's beside it. And I know that you're constantly looking to protect me. I'm not going to let that happen to you either. I'm not going to let it happen to Reggie or Theron Daga. I'm not going to happen, let it happen to Reyna or Malik or anyone. And you don't always get to Control that. If you could control that, then we wouldn't have brewing sword in the same. We all have our place in the story. Okay? We're gonna get you through to the end. You're gonna do what you gotta do. If you gotta bring my axe back here someday, then I need you to do that. I don't... I, I don't want to just be... Everyone keeps talking about the end of the story. The end of the story is that that's the only part of my life that matters, is the end of the story. There's a whole story ahead of that. That's me. That's me now. That's me yesterday and tomorrow and every single moment. That's who I am. And you keep on throwing the end of the story, so that's all that I ever was, is that choice, that moment that Fucking prophecy. Not what I meant. I put words in my mouth. Your part of the story isn't the end. You are the goddamn story. It's all you. Just trying to do right by it. Fuck's sake. Back. It's a beach. I have to spend one more fucking sunrise at this beach. Got my axe. Placed it over my shoulder. Yeah, well, we're gonna leave this week, so... Where are you going? Where are we going? Where are we going? We going. We going. Wait, yeah. you mean it? Yeah, of course. We gotta get Yellow Rain out of here. I'm not gonna... 
Yep. You kind of see her. She smiles for a moment, and it's kind of funny seeing her smile with this blood goatee <laughs> <laughs> right now, just like starting to dry. Really mean it. You're an adult. Of course. I'm not Reaches in charge of hand. I just want to be. Grab it and help her up. Mm-hmm. <laughs> it me pretty hard. That's good stuff. You mean it? Yeah. You're not just you're not just saying that. No, I mean right in the trigger. That was that was that was graphs. graphs. <laughs> My mom taught me that one. I get it. Dirty, but you know, so is war. That's what I mean. My mom taught me that. My dad kept on telling, you know, all this bullshit about a fair fight and this and that. And my mom said, Whatever your dad told you, forget it. <laughs> start start walking back towards the woods. Do we see Zara? Um Zara, make another stealth check against a drag <laughs> and <laughs> uh yeah. Um that's an eight. Okay, that's I go to pick up a tough. dagger I hurled yeah. about 20 minutes ago and I look down at Zira. Oh, hello. I told you to wake me up. I did. Oh. Hi, Zara. I mean, you didn't. Zara, can I ask you something? Sure. How long have you been standing there? Um... Enough to honestly, I saw a lot of your fight, and I honestly only helped with one of those punches. Those were you, wait, you like, what? Which, up. No, which honestly, one of us? which one of us? <laughs> one of them. You obviously helped drop her because that one punch you, I know you beat the shit out of each other, and that was on you, other than a single punch. You weren't just gonna let that kid punch me unconscious and just yeah, sit. It was- Funny. It was just very there eating funny. fairy cakes in the bushes. That was extremely funny. Reggie blushes a bit. Oh. Yeah, I, no, that was mostly just you guys. Like you really just sorry to drag so much. I did kind of beat the shit out of you, like just all by herself. That was extremely entertaining. She's not bad, right? It was kind. Of, it was. It was a little bit funny. Well, not gonna lie. Oh Enjoy right. being in the fray from now on. I mean, please just go see what we yeah. made for breakfast, and just go. I would love breakfast. We're gonna <sighs> beat all coin out of zero zero. Okay. Really sure. I didn't expect an audience. I'm sorry, Zara. I just okay. Not not to be that guy because I totally didn't eavesdrop on you, but I just wanted to make sure no one died. All right. Oh my god! I'm glad there was a. Yeah, I'm free. sorry. Yeah. <sighs> okay, okay. Adraxa has killed so many people. Not in the party lately. <laughs> no one. All right. No one trusts me. It's so fine. you you head back to the banner house where Spine Crusher is there. Sipping his coffee, boxers, and everything on the balcony. <laughs> See him coming back. What were you two doing? You fighting? Taking a walk. What about? Yeah. T- taking a walk. I have had no healing. I'm down. Oh. My- <laughs> my- oh. oh. hell. You look rough, Atraxa. So, it was a rough walk. Yeah. I give her the rest of my coffee. She had a bit of a tumble. Thanks. And it actually had pretty much nothing to do with me, which I find very hilarious. <laughs> right. uh, you, you come in and see uh, Vulcan uh, sweeping. Uh, hello. Hello, my lady. I'm, I'm my lady. I'm my lady. <laughs> no ladies. Um, breakfast be ready just a spot. You want to head into the parlor and I'll, I'll get you something. Ooh, the parlor. Right. Let me take it to go. To, to get yeah right. Uh, sure. I'll I'll have um mi, mi, I'll, I'll I'll have a, a wrap it up for you. Another call. So, yeah, soon enough. Right. Yeah. Floor uh presents you eventually with a uh, you know lovely bit of you know cinnamon wrapped uh, swirls of pistachio and uh, lovely doughy concoction iced with a bit of a you know almost like caramel like glaze it's 
collectible and you scarf it down and no sooner than you do are you aching for more but taking having taken it to go where were you going by the way <laughs> where were we going <laughs> good question God, are we getting into some burning for the last three already? weeks so, we got burning, burning aisles right for the sake of brevity let's just let's just fucking say that at some point Valenquips sent a dispatch to the mainland to ask on your behalf oh that the scarab be brought to the yes. manor house. That's so much yeah, fun. Yo, I forgot baby. that could happen. I Thank thought we'd have to go get it. Thank you, Valenquips. We gotta tip him like a hundred gold, right? Where we'll say okay. that. I'll tip him a hundred gold. I'm the only person that hasn't wasted all of the money Matt has given us over the last like five years. So You waste like 20 gold and three dragon anti. You, yeah, you give a hundred gold to. I Valenquip. won more than I lost. Excuse you. So Valenquip. anyway, I have it. I'm. So, I, I have like. I have like six. I have like five thousand gold. So I'll oh, give him it. like one hundred gold. You know, he deserves right. it. If he brought the scarab here, here, that's on him. Uh, he had the money in this uh, campaign. Well, for clear, you're years. tipping the crew. You're tipping Valenquips. The the. Uh, okay, so I will tip Valenquips half. Okay. So Jeez. I'm gonna give Valenquips. 50 gold, and I will split the other 50 gold equally among the crew. Okay. Oh, yeah. That is... Do we have crew this for the This is the scarab? first money I've spent in like I mean, they had to years. fly the airship yeah. here, so okay. the crew that is there, it, um, we'll say this, upon, you guys are sitting there asking for it to go, more or less on a hunch, as he, and then luckily enough, Valenclips comes by and says, I, um, reached out to Do Congressa cool. and made sure that it would come by, et cetera, et cetera. The conversation comes, and before she can even finish explaining it to you, the airship is hovering over the backyard of the manor. Um, and you requested a long-term crew that's okay with a bit of adventure for the next month or two? Uh, that's what uh, 50 gold's for. Congressa selected them himself, he said. Excellent. They were, he said they were uh, all outstanding members in their field, so... Yeah, um, it should be good. To, I mean, for a place. simple escorting a bunch of bottles of wine across the ocean, that should be oh, yeah. more than enough. Uh, but he said that they would, you know, they're looking to get far away from Higurisho after that, uh, you know, whole debacle with the city disappearing. Anyways, um, we'll have everything under control here. You don't need to worry about a thing. I will... We've already had a few inc uh, inquiries in response to the posting that we put out about the mine. I'll let you know about that. Uh, I hope the group uh, has a clever name. I do too. Um, because I'm interviewing them soon. Anyways. I don't understand how money in the future works, but here you go. Oh, Please stop. Whoa. That is more wow. money. Yeah, I think it's had. a lot. I, I, I honestly don't uh, know. We more... didn't deal in this currency where I'm from. That's more money Thank than you. I've had in the past six months. Just you gave also it gave it all to your little brother. Um, so, yeah, that's true. Lady, <laughs> this is Lady like Sarah. okay. So I'm pretty sure we overpaid for the cow, but this is at least half a cow, and I think. That should tell you how I poorly think I'll my buy friends half a under. Cow. Yeah, um, I, I'm assuming this is significantly this is... more than half a cow. Oh, that reminds me. Um, Laura is wondering if you wanted to try some of the cream from the crowd. From the cow. Yes, please. Yes. Sure. I can pour it into this hot brown thing. That oh, have yeah, yeah, some yeah, lovely yeah, yeah, Uh huh. Try that. Uh, a bit are we are, are we are we about to role play drinking milk, drinking coffee? Okay. Yeah, <laughs> we just we just invented coffee with cream. Yeah, yeah. coffee. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Coffee with our. That's weird, but okay. Yeah. Floor comes out. Oh, look at you! I hope you like it. This, uh, you know, just had. Uh, I'm sure I'll go love out it. Milk her this morning, fresh from the well. You know. Anyways, yeah. please we didn't buy a bowl. I have unfortunately um, learned very much about a cow in the last day, so it is it's actually it's it's pleasant enough. Um it's pretty good. I gotta say the uh Yeah, it's it's fresh. As can be. Uh yeah. I'm gonna miss you this cow. Kind of, mm, 
you feel awake, you feel alive, um, and a Drax to take the benefits of a short rest without having consumed one. Um, Wait, is this this whole twenty four hours awake thing? Don't worry about it. <laughs> I'll, I'll say, listen, listen. Me. Okay, okay, okay. To set your minds at ease, I will say that you're going to have at least one one full day of uneventful travel. No scrying and other bullshit first. No, nope, no getting, bullshit. Thank you. All right. I was like, I'm done. I'm done. <laughs> no, 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 just for the first 24 hours because you're still like, you're just getting settled into your ship and everything. So as you board the, the Scarab, you find that it is full of a, a lively bunch of crew that you will get to meet next time. Oh, as this is Carl. where we'll call it. With Thank you guys packing your bags. Well, your bag's already packed, courtesy of the oh, wonderful boy. staff here at the, the villa. Thank you, gang. It remains unnamed, but we'll get to that. As you board the Scarab, your airship, now heading to the Burning Isles. Yes, let's Yay. meet up with all those people. Go ahead and level up, everyone. This episode brought to you by 50% Just Exposition. You're welcome. Yeah. Straight up exposition. Thank you, Scryspell. Thank you, Cleric. Yeah, you asked for one. I yeah. fucking you asked for like a mild cleric, and I was like, "No, we're sending it." <laughs> we, <laughs> we could have been done the campaign in three weeks, but you know, we had to. Uh, yeah. I mean, I put the spicy cleric with the fireball, but also it still is a cleric. I know. Uh, like I don't know who's California taking... roll. Spicy California roll. <laughs> yeah. I don't know who is taken uh, under over on where we were gonna go today but whoever had casting legend lore on wampin jenny's miss winter toes oh. tavern <laughs> well you just got a big jack jackpot today friend because not me i can tell <laughs> you that much it was not me i, I did not see like, that shit coming you sure let me just recreate like, our discord chat it. i was like yeah. i'm going for it I, I like that you had the like the picture of her ready because you, you described her as well endowed like five minutes before you actually showed the picture. And then you showed the picture and she's well endowed. She's got like tips <laughs> on her chest. <laughs> she's <laughs> mostly. Oh, yeah, thank you. Just, I didn't you look know, wonderful good. people coming out with the armor. No yeah. way. Um, Our yeah. Discord, yeah. Discord chat. Do we have two tips weeks. written there? That's funny as fuck. Yeah. Our poor DM is like, seriously, guys, though, uh, where are you going to go? And we're like, don't worry yeah. about it. We're going to have like four out. sessions now. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Four sessions now I know, on, I on Regana. Four sessions. It's because I, I, I get it. Like before that was like sixteen sessions between the last long rest and this Just, one. We got down so, here. We're gonna murder go. us multiple times, and I said, at least let me know how I'm gonna die. <laughs> also, if this airship journey takes a month, then that is thirty slumber parties with long rest. No, it is and not. No, it is not. No, it is I not. We don't have know have that them. yet. No. We don't know that. We no, they have a specific, a strict, uh, no, no incense policy. I Very good. Let you know now. Yes. We will be arriving without incident. We will not be setting off spine crushers, um, debilitating <laughs> allergies. It will be great. We will be stopping for incense before we leave. It's what my character would do. And don't act like you don't like sharing the legend of your homebrew world with us, because I'm going to keep asking questions. Oh, no. <laughs> is why I signed up for this I'm going to learn the lore of your world. Oh, no. It's the history. Oh, no. I get to I made. throw a bunch of shit at you. Yeah. I'm excited, man. I don't know. I don't know if you guys are excited, but I'm excited to I'm see. Excited. I'm excited. I'm always so excited. excited. The Burning Isles are going to be one of the... You've only Pirate been Town. alluding to it for the last year. It's going to be fun. Even before yeah. that, even before that, we shipped we shipped Arlington's oh. original character, <laughs> Elliot, Elliot Beckett. To Elliot the Burning Isles. Oh, the Burn I that was at least two years ago. We definitely <laughs> won't run into him. Um, yeah, yeah. I, He's yeah. the big bad. Elliot, so a couple things. What you know about the Burning Isles, and this will be good. Yeah, well, let's, Burning Isles, you know a few things. At least two, three years ago, there was an outbreak of some unknown disease there. Which is a lot less funny island. on this side of 2020. Fucking hell. <laughs> um, yeah. to, 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 okay, so to come out of it, it's... It. Well, pox, which is what was also afflicting Heger, yes. or no, uh, Kanye back, yeah, way yeah, back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, well, pox had stricken uh, the Burning Isles. You also know that um, Elliot Beckett was shipped there along with Admiral Dentonshire, or Vice Admiral Dentonshire, 
um, another Captain Hottie Pants. But you've, I'll, I'll throw a picture in the chat. You'll be like, oh, I yeah. I remember the OG Captain Hottie Pants. Of course I do. Not, not OG Captain. I Cap, never knew him, but I will. Felicia, but one second. Oh, I'll find it and I'll send it. I just got like, it ready oh, yeah, to go. Her. I do have this shit like almost all ready to go. I've got a decent setup for organization. Point is, is that you, here you go. I found it just like that. Um, there you go. This one. Oh, uh, yeah. She is the one who oh, you guys yeah. paid off to have Elliot Beckett shipped in a box to the Burning Isles. I mean, I um, didn't, but sure. Oh yeah, this is Arlington's baby. Um, because he got his vengeance finally, and he's like, "There's my character arc. I'm Good for him. Done. I found an infinite salt pork room in the feather house, and I've got this. I'm I'll be in the hot tub. Good day." And then he fucking found the hot tub <laughs> and ruined it for everyone. Yeah. Rude. Um. So, Vice Admiral Haley Dentonshire, um, Burning Isle, also where you know the mysterious creatures that you know were seen in Ryle Octos's dungeon. Boys. The one, right? Yeah. Yeah. And also where you know Vernon happens to be. And also where you know uh Weir and Haran. And presumably the other surviving members of Higur Shale's council there are. Hopefully. Yeah. So a lot to come and the Burning Isles in general are gonna be one of my favorite places. All of Stale well, Shit. So you have to we've actually town. decided this. I'm so excited for this. Yes. Mm. All right. Thank you so much Until for hanging time. out with the chat with us, guys. guys. We yes, love having you here. Thanks for being out. with thank us. You. Thank you. Everyone who watched. Yeah, thank you. Awesome. See you guys Thursday for Artema. Yeah. Thursday. If what? you're good Thursday. or whatever Thursday. next day works for yeah, us. Yeah, that should work. So, yeah, Thursday. I mean, if Mike says it's okay, but sure. Presumably. Yeah, that should be fine. I think I'm supposed to do like hot yoga or something. But that's like six. That's fine. You can pick we'll that up. We'll figure over. it out. Yeah. Remember yeah. that. <laughs> Let's do on that. Oh, man, that's right. I get to do a cobalt voice, a big dumb cobalt voice. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so yeah, we're still. Watch yeah. us. Watch us fuck up a really elaborate heist. Yes. Assassination. Yep. Please come Thursday. back Thursday for our uh, evil character one shot. We will betray everyone we love. Yeah. And watch my, watch my husband what? and his nonstop exasperated face as the rest of us fuck around and find out. <laughs> yes! <laughs> why, why is Nick playing a serious character? <laughs> yeah. Just, just exasperated guy is who shows up when he plays with the rest of us because we're ding-dongs. That's it. it so much. <laughs> Everyone's playing evil characters. So if you want to see people play evil characters, which hardly ever happens in a campaign, yeah. check yeah. it out. I'm not technically evil. I'm just really stupid. Yeah. Evil. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I'm evil. I was, like, oh, I'm I was, I was here for evil. the good times, man. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Good night, friends. All Thanks right, for being with us. Bye. See you guys. Bye.